Good evening, I am Gorgakalak and we are back with Witcher 2, the Assassin of Kings. Last time we escaped the dungeon of Lavalet Castle and now we are here in wonderful... Your witch's ass is going to have to get wet. Jump! I don't want to get wet now. I'm carrying too much stuff. No idea where that came from, I have to admit. I would be gifted a load of crap. Christ. Ooh, that book about dragons. Uh, ooh, it'll be acquired knowledge. Uh, dragons were once commonplace. Their rule over this continent, absolute. Dragon fire with the bane of cities and dragons' appetites were a constant threat to the first colonies. Mages stood against these creatures. Witches were created to fight them. Today, dragons are nearly extinct. There are occasional sightings of fork tails and slizzards, but these creatures are to dragons just as to stray cats are to tigers. Dragons were brought to the brink of extinction by professional hunters like the sage Frin Sinfrid Reed. Alchemy ingredients for the dragon's body are most, the most are among the most expensive and highly sought out after the mages. This beast's roasted tail is considered a true delicacy. Ooh la la la! Right, we need to drop some stuff. Right, the soldier's orders uh, don't carry away. Not just the book. First off, let's put some stuff in our pockets. Let's put those and those bombs in our pockets. And also, we've received. Oh Christ, I've got a load of crap. Uh, we've also got some new stuff on our person, so, oh, what's the thing? we can't throw him yet, but let's, let's get him in the pockets, just to be ready. Oh, what's our weapons like, because we're saying, oh, okay, we've got that, can we, oh no, let to get rid of that knowledge thing. Water's cold as hell, come yeah. on, Witcher. I'm getting there, All right, that's got to wait, that's what I was carrying about, okay, sword. We have currently got uh, Dalabel from the first game, uh, 9 to 13 damage. Is there anything better? Um, I can Rune Shield, 10 to 12. Also, it's got a better chance of killing instantly, so that's a, certainly a better sword than that. Uh, so, I'm just selecting our correct sword, but the Tamarian Sword, 11 to 14. That's better again. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of a few and armor. Um, Herbalist gloves. Uh, yeah, that gives us armor. Heavy trousers. Once again, that gives us armor. It's better than nothing. Um, oh, Raven's armor. Oh, that still gives us a plus seven armor. That's still a lot better than our plus two from the Bruise Strikes Combat Jacket. I'll give you. It gives us a few different buffs, but, you know, I'll go for the Raven's armor also. Three upgrades slots, so it's pretty damn good. Uh, the leather jacket is only just plus three. Okay, and we do have oh, we have a trophy. Okay, let's let's uh, put that there. Uh, right, so I say that these weapons are the least annoying, well, least useful. So what? Uh, we are at weight three hundred and ninety-four over three hundred, so we need to drop a fair few things. Can we order these by? Wait, we can, I believe, by weight. Cool. Uh, so yes, that is, I guess, a more effective weapon, but I do like a sword. I don't know. Uh, let's get rid of the small black jack at least. Uh, let's get rid of the club. Uh, should get rid of these generic swords. And a rusty dagger. Uh, make a bit of a dent. Let's go to the armor. Right. Right. The blue stripes combat jacket. I'm saying it's a lot. It's not worth a great deal of money. It's only twenty orans. So let's drop that. Let's also drop that. And leather jacket. Once again, let's drop that. Uh, trousers. There were four. They're not particularly good. So let's drop those. Uh, only 10 over now, we're getting there. Uh, there are only two, only two. Not great. I take all these little gauntlets as well. Let's, I say, we'll drop a lot of these because they're only worth half. They'll, enough of them, but they'll, I'm, saying, I'm just gonna drop a thing in here. I say, I can only carry so much weight. We're still three points over. Um, so let's, let's weight here. These don't cost us anything. 
These cost us some stuff. Crafting. Oh, we've got a lot of iron. That's very heavy. That is a, uh, a weight each. Um, hmm. Might be worth dropping some of these. Um, what else have we got in here? Uh, quest items. They don't cost us anything. Last anything costing us. Bloody talisman. Bloody thing. But it's a quest item, so hopefully you might be able to do something with that. Uh, what else? What else? What else? I've got a lot of cloth. I've got sixty cloth. I think ideally I'd want to sell it to somebody. Um, ideally, what I'd put this in a chest, but got the options right. I think there's only three left. Let's get rid of a. Let's hope one of those. I think ideally want to keep things such expensive. See, that's just only eight gold, so we might have to get another one. And also, it's fourteen weight, so I'm going to drop that. And we are nice and quickly. Witcher, we're waiting. Yep. Oh, crust. Tapped out that. Water's cold as hell. Come on, Witcher. Yeah, I'm getting that. That's so I'm just going to bash my thing. That's here we go. Nothing. Come on already. All right, Triss, I'm coming. Oh Christ, not another bloody jacket. Your witch's ass is gonna. Any news from your secret informer? The port's blocked. Some merchants are being held up. On what about roads through the forest? Oh, it's telling us we need your to get something in this chest. Uh, diagrams for a witch's silver sword. I say I'm less fussed about this because I think, yeah, if you were to play this without the import for the first game. Uh, you wouldn't have a silver sword at this point, but I already do because I have the sword that the Lady of the Lake gave to me, in fact. Um, right, what else have we got here? Okay. See, now although these things may not seem useful right now, they're used in crafting, and that becomes a really key feature of this game. You can craft some really awesome stuff in this game. Uh, you just need to find the diagrams, and you need to have the stuff to make it. Let's move! Alright, I'm coming. I think the game is making me walk slow. Come on! It's not letting me run ahead of them. Walking pace. Where are we? In a forest? Very funny. But who does it belong to? Not me. Yorvath, maybe? I know more about the Pontar Valley than you think. For instance, I know that Foltest stole this land from Demavend a few years back. I believe you had a hand in that. These special forces surely had a hand in pretty much anything and everything. Yeah, I smell an elf. Oh, it's a nice tune, to be fair. Oh, I can see an elf. There, he's on the branches. That's Vernon Roach, Special Forces Commander for the last four years, servant of the Temerian King, responsible for the pacification of the Mahakaman foothills, hunter of elves, murderer of women and children, twice decorated for valor on the field of battle. Yorveth, a regular son of a whore. <laughs> I've long awaited our meeting. Laid plans, set traps, and now you appear in my forest of your own volition. You aided the man who slew my king. King or beggar, what's the difference? One dwan less. Um. Since when did the Scoia tell I, hire I, professional I killers on that to do one. their dirty Christ. work? A dwan, even. You've fallen low. A hired killer, true. But in all certainty, he is no dwan. Don't make a big deal of the race thing. Yet race is the very reason we fight. We have pointed ears, yours are rounded. We are few yet long-lived. Your kind multiplies like vermin, though thankfully expires quickly. Humans and elves alike, trying to prove one shape is better than the other. <laughs> 400 years of killing over the mold of the Oracle. Uh, yeah, see, we're here for the Kingslayer. We don't care about anything else. 
The Kingslayer's among you. We've come for him. Then our interests collide. The Kingslayer is under my protection, and I'll not hand over a guest. I can respect that, to be fair. You're just another old elf in a young elf's skin, using clever words to mask an obvious truth. Obvious, you say? This is not about race or freedom, or even vengeance. You're here because someone powerful told you to be. Someone who's using you. They may wear a crown, carry a magic wand, or even lead a guild. But be sure of this. It's not about your freedom, your rights, or your ears. Nilfgaard plowed you once. Now someone new does. Am I wrong? Those times are gone. No one will ever use the Square Tala game. Who are you addressing? Me? Yourself? Or the archers in those shrubs? Enough of this, Pish! Stanley! Should have charmed the archers. They're coming. Geralt, the spell's still working. Stay close. What? Triss is spent, so no more butterflies. Let's get the fuck out of here. Back to the boat? There's even more of them that way. We must fight our way toward Flotsam. Get your hands off my ass. <laughs> Who did you think it was? I'm not a flower, one of your commanders. I'm a woman. I noticed. <laughs> I'm missing. Oh! At least I'll die holding a lovely Get arm. To the Reno! Oh! Come on, let's go. Stop oh, I see the town up ahead. Are you alright? Yes, fine. What's happening? All I see are your boots. <laughs> Where the hell is that trading post? It's there. I'm starting to yeah. think we'll make it. Are you The barrier's waning. Triss. Be quick! Give me a bit more magic. Just a little. Geralt, kill them now! They're dead! Geralt dealt with them. You should trust Geralt. Oh, there they are. Look. There's the trading post. Squirrel cell attacking! Alarm! Squirrels! There's a mage among them! Ready yourselves! We're not squirrels. Oh. I do love his armour. Your this armor it is beautiful. You know each other? Rather well. But he has amnesia. I actually took the Witcher by surprise when I killed Foltest. Fear not, El. I know Geralt. I know his weakness. <laughs> For a big guy, he really disappeared bloody quickly. Too many spells at once. You can die from that. See that? Yeah. The Kingslayer and Yorvith. You all in one piece? Who are you? I'm a witcher. Emirvar Emrys, spice merchant. A trader? In spices. <laughs> uh-huh. I'm the woman. My good man, we barely escaped death. Be so kind as to tell us where we might get some rest. We'll explain everything later. Very well. Head for the market square. You might be in time for the execution. Some ne'er-do-wells are going to hang. A dwarf and some bard. There's also an inn and a brothel. Oh yeah, the brothel sounds especially interesting. <laughs> oh, Tris. Oh, Tris. merchant. More likely. Did you say that? Squirrels that are very... Oh. And let no. that be the last time. Sorry. Don't mean to do that. 
Alright, anything to just pick up? Oh, no, Witcher! How are things? Okay, there's quite a frost to pick up. Oh, there's loads for us to pick up. But at the same time, our, our infantry is already rather full. Yeah, we've only got six six points left, right? Um, in weight, that is. So, uh, might sell some stuffs first. Oh, actually, that we just saw is a lot decent. Ten to seventeen. Bloody hell! Not that's only. Actually, no, that's, that's 11 to 18. Okay, that's still, okay, Erudite's still better. And also, it's got three slots. So, in theory, I could put some... Do, 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 have I got any? Uh, do I have any advancements? Ah, yes. I was thinking I can put some runes in them to create it better. Uh, ideally, fire, because it does damage. Fire or sun. So I might actually go searching for a fire or sun. There'll be a, there'll be a forge around here somewhere. But, but it's telling us to go to the town and turn out. So we'll do that now. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, but you see the mini has got little things on it. It's like telling us various bits of bobs. Uh, um, oh, those are like trays outside of town. Those. Let's go out again. Oh, yeah, we can. Oh, I do, I, I do like this map. It's very nice. I know I said it last time, but I do like this map. <laughs> right. Um, right, where are we going, Tris? Not going through here, are we? Right, who's hanging on the scaffold? Oh, we're never going to get involved. Sake. I think I recognise it's two of those people. <laughs> I'm pretty sure once I'm pretty sure one of those people was um yep, Dandelion. Zoltan. Dandelion, my former. Uh, Just great. What's the plan? We improvise. No killing. We'll take care of this, Triss. Ah, uh, too fair, she's Geralt! a bit weak. Geralt! Over here, help! Oh dear, by the gods. Right, excuse me, I want to. catch ya. Step back, white one. What are they going to hang for? They don't look dangerous. The charge is collusion with the sky or two. Dandelion, an elven spy? The bard's hanging for debauchery. What? The sentence was he's to hang for debauchery. And a sentence is nothing to scoff at! <laughs> Are you serious? Listen here, people. people. <laughs> is profligacy <laughs> now a punishable <laughs> offence in the free kingdom of Tamaria? Oh, or are we in Nilfgaard? That's hilarious. I piss off, freak! Or you'll have me to deal with. Think of the common folk, you're spoiling their fun. Well, freak he may be, but he speaks true. Debauchery is one of my favorite pastimes, but I don't want a noose placed around my neck for pursuing it. <laughs> the soldier boys paid us a visit or two, though we didn't have much fun. Away with you, Margot! Go back to your brothel! Time to go? Fine. But here are this, people. He sure liked to parade about, but his willy wouldn't come to attention. Ha! Stop the execution. Shut your trap. The singer's to hang, and he will hang. This is a decent town. Whores and witches notwithstanding. Watch your words, guardsman. I don't know witches, but Margot's a decent woman. Shut it, all of you! Or I'll not vouch for what I'll do. Thinks he's tough, showing off his balls. Don't fret, people. I've seen the rot on them. <laughs> I'm warning you for the last time, Margot! You wouldn't hit a lady. You're no lady! Leave the witcher be! Want to squirm with the others? Oh. They'll hang anyway! Some of them. You freak! Smack him. Want to squirm with the others? Smack him. 
Oh, there's a fight going on behind us as well. I wonder where the second sound and sounds are coming from. Okay, uh, a random elf we don't know. Oh, now we're up here fighting this chap. Oh no, that was wrong. Is going on? Ah, oh, fuck. I like that. Uh, uh, I'd like to re re report. <laughs> Out of my sight, Clover. A few plowing bandits, and you can't even hang them. And you, stay calm. Hands off your sword. Our scaffold embraces speeches and hangings. Which will it be? Don't want any trouble. Your people started it. Short fuses, some of them. What do I care? They started, but you finished. I had to defend my friends. Will you release them? Terrible choice of friends, Witcher. I'd rather give you a thief. Relax. I'm joking. I hate thieves. We can put on another show. Bloody and serious this time, mind you. Or we can come to an understanding. Meaning? Give me a minute, Witcher. Listen here. You may have heard rumors of the tragic events that transpired during the siege of Lavalette Castle. Sadly, they are true. King Foltest is dead. It's likely that Scoyatel had a hand in this heinous murder. So you see, none of you can feel safe. That is why today, wagons with armaments will roll out into Flotsam streets. I hereby declare a state of emergency. Await orders, prepare to fight, and ready yourselves to avenge your fallen king. Now disperse, go to your homes. Arming the peasantry, is that really a really good idea? Yeah, nice show. Nice speech. You might as well have said outright that non-humans slew Foltest. My subjects know exactly who the enemy is. Out in that forest, grow careless for a moment, and you're a dead man. Whereas the non-humans here in town are all friendly. Friendlier than the merciless bastards out there. We let the Scoyatel inside, and they'll skin us alive, just before they slit our throats. Here, even the slightest sense of safety is an illusion. We'll not succumb to it for a moment. <laughs> what about them? They'll not hang for now. Let's say I'm reconsidering their cases. The scaffold's no place for civil conversation. We'll talk uh, at my home. You Your friends are free for the time being, but they're not to leave town. Come after dusk. <laughs> I'll be busy till then. There's one more thing. Welcome to Flotsam, Witcher. Thank you, town commandant. Town... <laughs> They were really going to hang us. I, I don't know. I didn't mean to torch that watchtower. Everything's all right, Dandelion. Let's get out of here. I didn't oh, mean to owe, torch that watchtower. We owe you a get out. Thank you. Time to hit the tavern. Come on, Dandelion. You need a stiff drink. And while we're at it, I'll tell you an edifying tale of local hypocrisy that conceals lechery beneath a veneer of courtesy. Except nothing can hide the stench. <laughs> Oh Zoltan, oh Zoltan, I love you. So we need to go to uh, Lerodo's place in the evening. I am actually quite sorry about that. Too that hanged. To look up and cry. Hmm. Save us. I find some. We'll say. Right. Definitely like the elf Yorvis, the exceptionally ruthless commando. 
uh, of a unit of squirrels. Hmm. Another notice board. Ooh, take, 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 take. Escape. Let's have a look. Oh. They just go straight to journals. Oh, they do. Oh, okay. Uh. Okay, returning your memory, Sassanid Kings, blah blah blah. Okay, cool, that's fine. Oh, uh, we got here. Ah, so I'm guessing. Yeah, so these uh, ones without the shield, I'll go for shield, uh, are little side quests. Uh, troll trouble in practicing their trade, which is able to cope. Oh. Uh, okay, so trolls, troll slayer, learn what your trade is, and must write neckers. Okay, cool. Nice little sound here, to be fair. I need to decide about that sword. Uh, let's go I. Come on, I. Uh, crafting. Cause... So, that's the crafting for a witch's sword, but we don't actually need it. We don't need the silver sword. We've got one. Cat. Where am I now? Uh, so the thing about this game is we need to keep uh, the formula which you want to do stuff with. They don't weigh a lot, but we need to keep them around. So to be fair, we could get rid of that one, but yeah, no point yet. Uh, although, to be fair, we'd like to talk to a smithy about upgrading it, because ideally, I say we've got some rooms, we've also got some iron enhancements. Let's see what ones we can buy. So how's it going to be? Uh, that appears to be <laughs> armors oh, and dwarves. I think he'll agree. No, I... I don't know. Should we just walk up and ask him like that? <coughs> ha! Greetings. A word, ha! if you will. You see, we've created an alchemical substance and we wish to test it in Vizima, in a laboratory. Talk to Calstein. Seeing as you're a witcher, <laughs> we wonder if you'd be willing to test it in practice. In a year or two, given the occasion, you could visit us in Vizima. We'd examine you and reward you generously. We need to study its long-term effects. We can't say more. Are you in? Ah. So, in sure, am I going to am I going to volunteer for a uh, trial, a uh, chemical trial in this day and age? See, I reckon we're fine for it because we're a witcher, and any effects that it may, any negative effects it may give us will. Yeah, Geralt's in. Geralt's. Geralt likes. Geralt rolls, likes rolling the hard six. Why not? Splendid. Excellent. Now, if you could also keep a journal of the experiment, don't overdo it. Let's have a look what journal actually that added for me. Monsters, characters. Ooh. Main characters. Uh, fella. If lots and Garen bumped into a pair of strange scholars, the alchemist was one of them. He and his colleague Gaspar tried to convince the witch to take part in a mysterious experiment, which is psychology. This study would only yield results many years down the road. Okay. That's fine. Uh, right, this looks like a nice little forge. I'm also going to mix some stuff. Rice, keep, sort out. Yeah, I'm not picking the stuff from this place, I promise. Talk to you. No, can I talk to you? Yes. Hello. Hey, boss. Look who's graced our smithy. That titan of the art of smithing can't hear us. Busy. Works a blur in his hands. And how are you, witcher? Things working out for you? Oh, nice work. Could be better. Could be worse. Ah, it's no workshop. Just a simple forge. But thanks for the compliment, both in my name and the master's. So, how can we help you, eh? <laughs> um, or we can roll some dice for him, that's cool. Uh, let's do, let's uh, see what dice you've got to trade first, because ideally, oh, let's nicely. Oh, so much better than the last game. <laughs> In enhancements. Okay, so what enhancements do I have? So I have plus one to armor. Uh, but you have. Leather, leather, that's all, leather enhancement. But you have a robust leather import. That's quite cool. Uh, because that adds armor and it adds resistance. That's cool. What do you have? You have some iron and silver. That's cool. Don't need any right now. 
And what things do you have? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you have some very nice armor. Plus 15 health. That's decent. I'm oh, sorry, health. Armor. Uh, oh, especially because it's, it's an armor set. So I think this is all the blasphemer armor boots, gauntlets, blah, blah, blah. So you want the whole set. Uh, costs a few material. Uh, okay, so the 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 leather I can get, the cloth I can get, it's the uh, hide. Okay. Wait, should just scroll down to it. Components in the components required, the Endra hide, which I believe is one of the contracts we got. So we'll no doubt get those at some point. Cost a bit of girls, we won't get those yet, but we'll keep an eye on it. Actual. Uh, oh, that's a nice sword. Sort of. Oh, donated. Oh, 22. Oh, yes, I want this sword. I want this sword. Neckety, finally, trying some knackers, Christ. Uh, interesting. Cool. What else part of that alpha? F A. Up here somewhere in Jerry. Yes, that's that sword. 20. Oh, it's a silver sword as well. Oh, 20 25. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, we're gonna make that at some point. Christ. Cool. I'm glad we this. Right, for now, I'm thinking I might purchase up those two. Oh, it's gonna cost us 33 gold. Yeah. Purchase up those two. Cheers, matey boy. Let's add those onto our armor of seven. So robust. Yes. Robust. Yes. Cool. So that's actually up to nine. And actually, if we add on the uh, that one as well. Cool. So we're up to ten plus armor on our uh, top half. That's decent. For now, certainly for an, uh, that's the advantage of playing the uh, game, the importing of save for which one you get. A, you start the art the game with decent armor and decent swords. <laughs> Uh, although we are playing some hard, so we're definitely going to need it. Now, he could also... Oh, no, don't come back, please, Mr. Dwarf. Sure. Uh, also, you can craft me items. How does this work, then? Okay, so I have to have the thing. And then I tell you if you have... Oh, I see. And then I can... Can I then purchase from inside this menu? Uh, no, but I can... Okay, cool. No, that makes sense to me. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Now... So Dice. Not the reason we came here, but sod it, we'll give it a go. Right. So he has a one, two. Uh, that's it. Uh, no. He has two sixes, pair of, pair of sixes. And I have a pair of twos and a pair of fours. Okay, fine. I'll re-roll the, re the three. And a pair of twos. We'll go for that. Five. <laughs> Another pair of twos. Hey, I win. Cool. That works. Right. I think if we go back into that, and we need to wait till evening time. Um, it is currently day, I believe. I believe the indicator is in the top, uh, right, uh, to the top right of the map section. That's the indicator. So I think that's trying to indicate it's day. It's around in here. Welcome. No oh, stuff at the back again next. Sorry, mate. How much have got stuff in there? Yes, we're really close, Christ. I'm actually quite tempted to go sell a load of stuff to the, uh... Okay, some of this stuff is just a little bit silly, just actually, yeah, okay, solid. Come back in a moment, I'm gonna go sell some stuff. Let's make it, yeah, make it better, respectively. Alright, so I'm just gonna see what other people are selling. Hello. Greetings. Certainly. Sorry. You're welcome to. I'm Fioravanti, a merchant. Not to be nosy, but weren't you hired to kill the Kairan? I've had my fill of this place, and I'll be glad when the blockade is finally lifted. The reader won't let you traitors out until it suits him. Seems he needs you here for some reason. What's no that idea. supposed to mean, damn it? Is he organizing some international trade fair? 
I'm a subject of King Demavend. And I tell you... Demavend's dead. Ah. Oh. Now, if you don't mind, can we get down to business? Nah. Right, yeah, let's trade. All things rotten dice with you, too. Cool. Uh, okay, you'll sell us some... Ooh, diagrams for, for robust cloth. That'll be useful to be fair for you later. Um, right, but for now, we are selling off just some crafting stuff. We've got a shit ton. Right, cloth. Why do we have 62 cloth? It's no use to us right now, so I'm going to sell half of that. And that's going to... Oh, that's going to get us a beautiful new fridge space. Iron... 50 better say we don't need this right now. Sell half leather once again. Twine, let's sell half of it. Easy making us some money here. Uh, what else? And um, to be fair. Yeah. Sell those off too. Ah, oh, lovely face. Excellent. Now, diagrams. Um, what would be useful? Less interested in bombs right now. More interested in. I should know. To be fair, and to be fair, I won't do these yet. I know that I know I'll need them at some point when I need to create all this armor I need, but there's no point doing it yet. You'll just be stuck hanging around in the inventory when I don't have a huge amount of money running around anyway. Right. Oh, that seems. Oh, hello, whoever's dropped into the. Thank you for coming watching this evening. Alright, so we've got some entry space, so back into. I was going to say that. Right, come on, open the door, Carol. Alright, Dandelion, why the. Dog's life, girl, I'll tell you. Why the hell were you being hanged? <laughs> Damn, that was close. Inkeep! Vodka! Tris Merigold! Lice eat me, but you are a treat to behold. Uh, just a little pale. Magic takes its toll, but I'll be all right. Good to see you in your beard again. Can somebody <laughs> tell me what happened? You set off a month ago for Zoltan's wedding. That got fucked. There will be no wedding. Did you hear about Foltest? Rumors travel faster than the wind. Winds and rumors. I want to know the truth. I want to know how Foltest died, and the dragon was there really one there? And who rules Temeria now? Dandelion, calm down. You'll choke on your liquor. <laughs> um, yeah, let's ask about what's going on with Zoltan's wedding, because that's really no sad. <laughs> the Bracken Riggs broke off the engagement because some limp prick put it about that I joined the uprising in Vizima. I would be popular refused to let a rebel firebrand join the family. Enkeep, where's our drink? It was like this. We got to Mahakam a week after the Grand Master died. Bas Zoltan, an absolutely grand doublet, a pair of Garibaldi Krakows, and as a gift for Eudora, a jade stone as big as my fist. You were broke as a joke by the time Dandelion threw me a bachelor party at an establishment called the Tight Lane. Next day, we went over to the Breckenrigs. They welcomed us in, sat us down, and proceeded to discuss the superiority of Mahakaman mining know-how over any other. And that went on until dinner. <laughs> Just when I thought I'd learned more than I ever wanted to know about mining, they served the soup. You could have held a pen drop. Old Breckenridge rose and he says, A real dwarf works a mine, not chases fame on the battlefield. You'll never believe this, Geralt, but they served duck blood soup. It was as black as tar. They must have dropped lumps of coal into the pot. <laughs> Eat, Breckenridge says, then proceeded to slop two full balls at the shite. Old goat. Hope his mind caves in on his head. Ah, oh, so it didn't go well. Uh, yeah, so Dandelion, how ever how since you been looking for Roach for? Because Roach has already told since us Since when this. have you worked for Roach? Hey, nobody said a word when you went out to save Temeria from the Grand Master and his mutants. Relax, Dandelion. I was just asking. Do what you want. You're an adult, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't very supportive. Laugh away. At least I decided to do something uh, constructive. That's quite you used to spy for Redania. Now you're spying for Temeria. Some might call you a traitor. Ever tried to live off of poetry alone? The truth is, I'm a citizen of the world. As long as I don't serve Emperor Emir, I'm not doing any harm. Even me, Geralt. You play the spy a bit, get bored and drop it. You know how he is. Indeed. So, enjoy the score, tells Alton. 
wouldn't, I would be surprised. Lorido said you're working with the Scoyatels, Alton. I have done many things in my life, Geralt, but I have never stooped to banditry. The Scoyatel don't consider themselves bandits. But I am no Scoyatel. <laughs> and yeah, let's talk about the dragon. The dragon, well, the dragon appeared, and that's all I know. But where did the Lavalettes get a dragon? We heard it fought on their side, huge as a barn, they say. Dragons don't usually take sides. Maybe its lair was nearby and it just felt threatened. If you hadn't driven it off, Foltest might not have taken the castle. Maybe. We'll never, we'll never know. know for sure. That's very true. true. To the boss now. You're the expert on Temeria. Tell us who's in charge now. It's chaotic and getting worse. The old families are fighting for supremacy, no holds barred. Baron Kimbolt and Count Merivel, I bet. Among others. After the assassination, while Geralt was in the dungeon, the lords convened in a field near Lavalette in a Castle field. to choose a new ruler. Three days they debated, and it looked more like a bazaar than a meeting of nobles. Except the trade was in court and ministry positions, spheres of influence, royal privileges. Ha! <laughs> Humans! In spite of several duels and two poisonings, no king was chosen. Civil war was in the air. Did they ultimately resolve anything? No. It ended as usual. Sadly, John the Talus remains our only hope. Ah, the victor at Brenna, and Foltest's most tried and true field commander. Hmm. And during the deliberations, he was several days' march from Lavalet Lambs, with an additional 2,000 <laughs> armed men in tow. He's to keep the peace until the right Yeah, the is 2,000 men. He that... could find that ruling is to his liking. Yeah. Natalis is a soldier at heart. He's not suited to rule, and I don't believe he even wants to. He's got the army behind yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. Which is why he can guarantee peace. Mm. Why, well, a tenuous one, sure, but that's always better than civil war. Besides which, he's deeply in debt to a dwarven bank in which Philippa Eilhart, as sorceress, holds significant stake. Where were the mages? Aye. Where were the great eminences of this world when they were truly needed? They weren't invited. Neither was I. But if not for their intervention, or rather that of a few influential sorceresses, Baron Kimball would have taken the throne. I was invited to sing at his court once. Afterwards, he refused to pay me, and the food was awful. No way I'll stay in Temeria if he's crowned. <laughs> That's not politics. I think I've heard enough about politics. Foltest's killer lay in wait in the tower where the Lavalettes had hidden the royal bastards. He was well informed. Wait a minute. What were you doing there? I was protecting the king. After the first attempt, Foltest began treating me as his lucky charm. He ordered me to be at his side during the battle. The dragon separated us from the rest I'll of the army. The killer disguised himself as a monk, a blind one at that. He let Foltest greet his children, waited until I had walked off, then cut the king's throat from ear to ear. How did he flee? Jumped out a window into the river below. Yorvith Scoyatel were waiting in a boat. It was planned. And you're chasing him because he murdered the king? I was accused of the murder. I need to clear my name. Besides, I looked him in the eye before he escaped. He's a witcher. Then some brave Temerian soldiers showed up, piled on me, and knocked me out. Save yourselves, good folk! The beast attacks! What beast? We better get out there. Someone's casting spells. Oh, hello. It's Cthulhu! Oh, hello. Cthulhu has come to save us all. What sort of sorceress are you? A lot of good you did. Can't you hear me? Why didn't you help him? He's alive, isn't he? The beast nearly pulled him in the water while you stood staring like a calf at a shit-covered clover. Watch your words. <laughs> Where's this beast? Ask her. Geralt. Ah, I guess we knew each other. Oh, look here. Birds of a feather. Let's say I've heard of you. Master Witcher, this is foolish. 
The beast near pulled Sozek into the depths, and you're simply chatting with this damsel. Sozek's alive, and nowhere near the depths. The monsters vanished without a trace. You best take us seriously, lest you vanish without a trace. <laughs> All right. What happened? I came to Flotsam to kill the Cairn. Cairn? The monster that has effectively blocked the port. A moment ago, I had the good fortune to see it in all its splendor, but the local folk scared it away. Good fortune? You hear that, Sozek? That was some good fortune for you. Why is the beast in the port all of a sudden, eh? Summoned by the witch, perchance? To see it in all its splendor. Mm. Can't fight the monster yourself, yeah. And which of you is ready to help the sorceress fight the beast? Why us? Huge it is. Big as a mountain. Because you're the ones complaining. Well, angry at someone who's willing. Well, because... We'll tend can. to the Cairn, the sorceress or I. Maybe we'll do it together. We'll draw it away from the port beforehand so as not to endanger the likes of you. Well, I hope you succeed. I've no preference for who does it, witch or witcher. Just kill the horse, son, and the whole town will be grateful. Oh, I'm sure there's a big bad gold bag I gold in somewhere. I but I am Louis Merz, and I am chief person in charge of all matters related to monster hunting in Flotsam. It is in this capacity that I must inquire if you're willing to attempt to resolve the problem of our so-called Cairn, the beast that now blocks all trade traffic on the river. So, Witcher, are we willing? I usually work alone. I was here first, and I'll not relinquish this contract. My way or the highway, as the locals put it. <laughs> Fine. Your way it is. You must contact the merchants on the waterfront as regards any rewards. Madame de Tanserville has, I believe, already conducted some preliminary negotiations. That I have. In that case, don't let me keep you. Triss, how long must I wait for you to introduce us? Sheila de Tanserville, advisor to Queen Zulika of Kovir. Kovir is a long way north. True. I had my doubts if the Cairn was worth the journey, but those were dispelled with what it showed today. Here to hunt down some ingredients? Triss Merigold. Sharp as ever. You're thinking that? Troll eyes, ghoul venom, virgin's blood. All those disgusting marvels we take from dying species. To throw into the cauldron at Sabbaths. Right, Triss? Absolutely. Virgins are a dying breed. <laughs> oh my. Your sense of humor seems to be intact too. But enough of these pleasantries. Tell me, Geralt. Pleasantries. You saw the tentacle. What do you make of it all? The beast must be huge. Maybe inhabited one of the Pontar's tributaries before, hunting animals. Then it grew for some reason, and hunger drove it to seek fresh pastures. And on the Pontar it found trade barges burgeoning with obese, slow-moving merchants. They're partly correct. Cedric claims the Cairn emerged from the northern swamps approximately one month past. Cedric? An elf. Formerly a Scoia'tael. Elf. Strange mm. bird. But he knows quite a bit about the area and its living wonders. I need to look around, find out a few things. Hmm. An investigation. Witcher's rituals, extracting secrets and such. More or less. I'll talk to the merchants about the reward, pay Cedric a visit and get back to you. You'll find me at the inn. I've rented lodgings there. On the upper floor. You know the inn's also a whorehouse. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> yeah, she's been here longer than us. We still need to go and see Laredo at some point, but we'll talk to the uh, since it's not really night time yet. Oh, sleeping on juicy, are we? Wake up! Welcome, welcome. Wake you, wake you. You free? No. Work in my office. Let's go talk to Cedric. Let's try and find this Cedric. Actually, no. Let's try and talk to these merchants on the riverfront. Get an agreed price, get an idea of how much they're willing to pay us for this goddamn thing. But yeah, hell of a lot of money. Big bloody creature. Also, I've got to pick up a load of his stuff in these chests. Okay. 
like a small. I've got. I've got a load of space, right? Let's pick some of them up and see how much I've got left afterwards. Across this loads of stuff. I do, know, I do appreciate the. Uh, the ball in this game. I'll be damned. The medallion and you start shaking it. Going somewhere, up. friend? No, no, just picking up all the crap that apparently I can steal from you guys. Going somewhere, friend? Uh, how much weight? 220. Okay, we're fine still. Oh, at your service. Okay, so there's loads of stuff over there, but we'll leave that bit for a while because hey, we've got some stuff. We don't want to fill up our inventory completely. All right, go on, that cost us that was 25, so 35 space we've used up. That's all right. Right, merchants. Hello. What do you want? Heard you have a problem. Ah, if only we had just one. <laughs> Highways washed out, forests full of bandits, a river beast blocks the port, and tolls are to rise. I can't do can't that with the last the tolls, one. Yeah. The monster's a possibility. <laughs> the sorceress said the same, but we've yet to see any results. She's asked me to work with her. And who's to pay your wage? That's what I'm here to discuss. The sorceress was to manage alone. You can split that reward if you wish. Ah, uh, da Well, as I advance, double the fear and I'm in. Let's try double the fear and I'm in. Well, we're managing it together now. So as I see it, you should double the reward. <laughs> you jest. <laughs> Get that to me when you've had enough of a lot, sir. Have it your way. But if the sorceress fails, you'll be stuck here with your goods till winter. <laughs> your losses would be far higher than the cost of hiring <laughs> See you. Wait a minute there. No need to get cross. I'm not getting cross, I'm just being honest. Time is coin. I understand that very well. If your participation will expedite the matter, so be it. We'll add two fistfuls of orans, though our pouches will be empty. It's a deal. Now tell me what you know about the beast. You're the Witcher, damn it! I've no knowledge of these things. Who could tell me more? That plowing elf, Cedric, most probably. He's supposed to know all about monsters. Where can I find him? In the village, outside the walls. Oh, the village now outside. leave me be. Oh, that's fine. Okay, fine, <laughs> Okay, well that's it. Uh, okay, so we got some agreed more What's money. These crates, boss? That's good. King Vridank's treasure. And in that house? The amber it's true. But I do like the fact we've got some more money agreed from that, that's good. I don't know exactly how two fistfuls of orange adds. Um, I don't know. Right. I've got a map of some type. Okay, we've got the map. Okay, so that looks like a bit of a village. That's not how we've got anything. Uh, can we get to the journal? Right. Uh, we're saying we'll sort out the contracts in a little bit. Saying oh, I think that sounds right. I've already go see. Uh, we place him, uh, da, 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 his whatever his name is. Lurido's in the evening. Have we need to talk to Cedric? Uh, indeed, uh, okay, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, cool. We need to talk to Cedric because we need to find him outside the wall. So it's not on that side. So let's try on this far side. I think it looks like it's over here. Well, well, I had an inkling and it didn't disappoint me. It was a long voyage to this cesspit, but it's about to make sense. Old Test's killer, live and in person. How are you? Happy and healthy? Can't complain. Wh wow. I am delighted. The really. sass. But you see, it's a long way back to Basima, and I'd rather not dawdle. I lost a load of time looking for you. No reason to waste any more talking, then. Bon voyage. Bon voyage. Listen, Jester. You're worth more to me alive, but if need be, I will take you back as a corpse. Nah. You choose. All right. Give it a shot. Drop your sword and put your hands together, or I'll not vouch for what. Shut up. Go ahead. Try to kill me. He's worth a bundle. Yeah. Don't fuck this up. I do like the fact that actually you are kind of susceptible to stuff before in this game. It's a bit more realistic for the fact that actually 
yeah, you're a witcher. You're ridiculously powerful, but you're not invincible. Get up off the floor, mate. Come on. Oh, no, I'm going to kill you first. Right. Not a rod. <laughs> uh, bad luck, buddy. Oh, let's read the old West Ron. What the offering? Uh, it is hereby made known that all that the witcher named Geralt, a native of Rivia, has committed the high crime of regicide in slaying Foltes, king of Temeria. As a murderer and traitor, Geralt of Geralt Rivia has been sentenced to die by fire. Ooh, a generous reward is offered for his capture and delivery to the proper authorities. He who delivers the criminal's head shall receive one half set reward, though providing relative, reliable and confirmed information as criminals whereabouts shall also receive repute. Uh, remunerations. Uh, beware, the witcher is armed and dangerous, but no concept of how much you might get off me. Guess I don't want to write it down, just in case someone actually might hold them to those costs. Right. Um, how do I get out of here? Um, hello. Yeah, we also need to do the standard thing of going talking to all the people. But let's talk Cedric first. Got the same small place. Let's try and hang out here. I know I'll get out here. Okay, there. Oh, that's a. These are big bloody trees. Where might you oh, be going? Uh, what kind of question is that? Anyway, know where I can find an elf named Cedric? Don't get involved in this. <laughs> the merchant's putting up a lot of coin. <laughs> yeah. The merchants are paying good money for killing the beast. Coin is never the most important thing. No, but Maybe, we're on the run. But it's still pretty useful. Yeah, exactly. I don't trust her. She? <laughs> Why not? She's a powerful sorceress. Dangerous to her foes, even more dangerous to her friends. Wow. I know you don't like her. Any specific reason? I'm just trying to warn you. Thanks. I guess I'll have to ask her. How? We're going hunting together. Right after I find Cedric. Well, then let's go see him. He should be at the top of his observation tower. To be fair, we're not going to go hunting straight after this. I plan to go see Larida this evening. Do I have any content actually what time it is? Um, if I go to meditate, it'll give me an idea of... Oh, okay, it's around noon. Okay, it might be a while to see it. Okay. To be fair, to be... all those to be fair, though, we got. Uh, we need to go talk to a lot of people in this village. I no, see the elf named it. Cedric. Any of you know where he is? What's your business? I need to know if the forest's safe. How am I to know if that's truly what you seek? It's common knowledge that you're racist. <laughs> you were told, mate. Does he lose them often? Oh, adorable little girl. Ah, uh, that's Tress. There we go. So just stay on top of the watchtower. Elk. It'll be nearly a year now. Moril would delight in a day like this, Sir Heron. Enjoy the memory of her. Don't wallow in the long run. I try. I do. But I cannot believe all the bad blood this disappearance has bred. Don't let others shade poison your memory of her. Hatred is but an outlet for helplessness. Thank you, Cedric. Vafel. Vafel. I do like the way that which the uh, elves are portrayed in this game. A lot nicer than the first game. Hey, yeah, Cedric. How you doing, buddy? Are you Cedric? Who asks? Geralt of Rivia. Ah, the Witcher. And? Triss Marigold. Lovely scent, Triss. Oh. Cedric. Wow. What do you want, Geralt, Geralt of Rivia. Rivia? Wow, we spat that out. Um, let's just go through the standard stuff. What are the Squayatel fighting for? Do you ask about the old ones who hopes to restore our race to its previous glory? Or about the young ones who fight for survival and out of suicidal revenge? Yorvith's warriors. Which mold do they fit? They believe they are still independent and that there is but one just way to view their cause. In truth, however, they're but a shadow of the Enshe's former glory. They cling to delusions to the very moment when a sword or a noose ends their life. 
or until they realize the truth themselves, which is, I believe, the worst. Hmm. You sound like you've reached that. But it's the fact that you seem to be quite, I don't know, an upstanding member. You're here on guard. You know, that's a, you know, that's a almost a fairly trusted position. Also potentially perceived as, well, if a monster comes attacking, well, you're the first one to die. But, um... I mean, the humans are around here. Okay. Um, who exactly are you? One who warns humans against the dangers that lurk in the forest. Care to clarify? I am old. Even for an elf. Yet the forest is older. I've lived in it for years and understand it, though it's nothing I can explain. At times I make mistakes and people don't come home. So you help humans? I just know if it's safe to venture beyond the gates or not. I see. <laughs> Maybe I'll come back when you're sober. You witches live a long time. Hey, life. Marcel, how you doing, you buddy? You may indeed get to see that day. As I think we we progressed a little bit. We are now on to the second Witcher game. We have uh, had the prologue. We have um, very. This is actually the first episode of us in uh, Flotsam. This is literally just us meeting Cedric for the first time. The elf woman you were talking about. How did she disappear? Sir Harim believes the forest took her. What do you believe? Mora simply vanished. Almost a year ago now. Some say she was too beautiful. And Dwan must have harmed her. You believe that? If I have no evidence before me, I try to trust my feelings. And they tell me the forest did not take her. Why would you keep that from Sir Harim? Because it's meaningless. Perhaps she was murdered. Perhaps she departed on her own, never to return. She's gone. And neither I nor Sir Harim can reverse that. Hmm. I spared Siegfried. Uh, yes, I spared Siegfried. I also actually spared um, Yavin as well. Um, they both survived the massacre in Vizima. I hunt monsters. Yeah, everyone knows he hunts monsters. You're a bloody witcher. But it might be an elf, but he's not daft. I'm looking to hunt in this area, and I could use some advice. I'm no witcher. I set traps, snares, try to keep Neckers away from Lobinden. That's all. I'm aiming a little higher than Neckers. The old man? Meaning the Cairo? Finally, Laredo's splurge. Listen, I'm not one to teach your grandmother to suck eggs. You witches know your work. But if you pay me, I can prepare a useful trap. What kind of trap? Puncturing trap, immobilizing trap, even decoys to pull monsters into an ambush. Whatever you like. Since I can easily finish off an ensnared necker, it should be child's play for you. <laughs> I do like the fact that even a... Even a uh... Elf admits that at uh, this game, just like, yeah, witches beat me. Witches beat me. <laughs> I need to make a few orns. You wouldn't happen to have a job for a witcher, would you? There's never a shortage of work for a witcher in this forest. It's positively teeming with beasts. Is it me or does Cedric's no, voice I'm not like echoing slightly? They come here in droves. Know why that is? Cursed places attract all sorts of scum, like dung attracts flies. There was once a great house in the clearing. They locked up lunatics there. During the war with Nilfgaard, it was raised in a fire. Ooh. The lunatics broiled in their cells. That sounds like The ruins explore. remain cursed to this day. Two daredevils went off to explore the ruins recently. They haven't been seen since. A great house, you say. Tell me more about the building itself. It was an old manor house that was converted into a mental institution. There was no shortage of lunatics in wartime. They just kept coming. <laughs> Reverend Mercey locked them up in there and looked after them. If you find the two people lost in the ruins of the mental asylum, you stand to be handsomely rewarded by them or their families. Yeah. I'll give it a shot, see what happens. No harm in trying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Siegfried, I'm still... Not Siegfried, Cedric. I'm still talking to you. Contact. Maybe think of Siegfried now, God damn it. Uh, I aim to kill the Cairn. Heard you might be able to help. That depends on the sort of aid you seek. Any kind of I aid. Need information. Honest. We should have killed it years ago. No. Now I don't know. The beast has become too large for the riverbed. And it has strange growths on its tentacles. Extremely thick skin. 
Previously, it inhabited a swamp along one of the Pontar's tributaries. Completely wild terrain. Even the Scoia'tael don't venture there. You should go see the wreck of the boat it recently sank. Inspect any traces it's left. See the destruction. Where's this wreck? Venture south into the forest, then turn east toward the river. You'll find the ruins of a bridge erected long ago by the Enche. The wreck lies at their foot. Thanks, Cedric. Yeah, okay. I'll go have a look at that, I guess. Um... You'll find me by the boat wreck. Sheesh, Triss. Sure you're not overusing those teleports? Oh, I can't walk it. I was like wondering what it, it just looked like Cedric went straight through the uh Jesus. Take care of yourself. Alright, so apparently I'm gonna go and uh go to this uh, wreck. I was planning to explore the town a little bit more, but uh nah. he's gone there, so I've sold it, going there too. Uh so what what have you been up what have you what have you been up to, uh, Marcel? I've not seen you in a few days. Wanted to see a vis today. Into the forest I venture. Yeah, up here. That is the arrow's going. That's what Cedric said. There's some lovely folk here. Oh, they're not friendly folk. Oh, I thought they might be friendly. Christ, you can take quite a bit. Can't you for just a random in the forest? Not got any armor on at all. Okay, you got your potsy tin out of him. Oh, that was a hit and a half. Well done, mate. Look at that. But I will have the. But I shall have the last laugh. Oh. That was a lot closer than I would like it to have been. Some orange, some ore, and a few bits of leather. Oh, is there some more up here in that campfire? Well, there might be. I might, I might, I might wait here a moment for the health to just regen. Do, 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 do. Actually, yeah. I didn't check. How many potions do I have? I've got five swallow. That's all right. All right. Let's try this. This can only go well. And kill him off one at a time. Easy enough to do. Oh no, that didn't work at all. No, he didn't want to take any damage there, did you, mate? That was, that was particularly effective. Bloody. You just don't take anything, do you, mate? No spells, nothing. That. Oh, that's cheeky. That's cheeky. Stats are in the back. Come to Papa. I do like the use of shields in this second game, it makes combat a far more interesting challenge. Alright, we have that. Oh, no, I just walked into the fire. Ultra sad face. Didn't get killed by that, I got killed by the bloody fire. Yes, reload. How far back am I going? Anyone take a guess? Ah, oh, back here. Find me by the boat wreck. Jeez, Triss. 
Sure, you're not overusing those teleports. Well, why can't I come with you, Triss? Sorry, Triss is still recovering from her attack by the Scoia's help with the whole magical shields he made. So, why the hell isn't she just teleporting around the entire place? That seems a little bit yeah, much. Flowers, mandrake root. Right. What do you reckon? Think I can get past this time, Marcel? Uh, this is on uh, dark, not insane, because my god, that'd be silly. I know I die. Yeah, but I like a challenge. Alright, come here, you two. You two are easy enough to take care of. I think dark is... Well, I'm not a shit-eater, so... Why can't you leave me alone, mate? Death to all shit eaters! Oh. Oh. I'll use it after this death combat. Oh. Did I had to do a load there for some reason. Had to load again. That's uh, unexpected. Wow. Had to load to do a. Uh, oh, that fire pit's gone. The fire pit has now magically disappeared. So is that fire pit. That's not disconcerting at all. Ah, oh dear. Sorry, phone buzzing at me. Right. And the fire pit's back. <laughs> the, the game had to reload the fire pits for some reason. Uh, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll go for a... Uh, let's go for a... Quen? Really? What's Quen going to do for us here? Oh, it's going to confuse him. Come here. Actually, actually, what... Damn it, I just did it. But what I really like in this game, to be fair, is Yarn. Come on, mate. That is such a useful one. It's so good. Look at him go. Alright, come on. Come here. Alright, I'm going to try and actually. Okay, yeah, but what about me? Because I'm not exactly... You know, I could be from Tamaria. Also, isn't this, like, recently acquired land anyway? Ooh, the chest. Do I think a chest? There we go. Got through that time. Now, don't step or roll into the fire. 50 orange, not bad. Out, what, a thousand? Just over? Just shy. Oh, hey, Tris. I wonder what's left of that wreck Cedric mentioned. Oh, if the Karen attacked the boat, it's not likely to be much. We're looking for traces of the beast, not boats. Yeah, but there'll still be wood. You know, bits of wood around. That's what I'm looking for. Trying to pick a bit. Get a bit of a... Uh, of oh. See, this is a cool bridge. Although it doesn't look very elven to be built by the elves, I have to admit. It looks more dwarvish. Especially with their, like, uh, very angular shapes. Is there a boat down there? Oh, there is a wreck down there. Excellent. I'll go get it. I always need to... Oh, you just need to level up at some point. Got, I think, probably two, two levels up. I need to go put into things. Jump. Down we jump. Bits on, I'll get those a few bits on for a sake. Oh, yeah. 
There's only got plenty of inventory space right now. Ah, oh, I didn't do them. Ah, oh, of course I did. Go on, Garrett. Down you go, boy. No. Oh, Geralt. Right. Walk over to the extreme side. Look at the plant. Pick up herbs. Yes. Who would have thought we had that half of Garrett's pick up her herbs? Alright, let's go down. Onto the ground for some reason. Oh, I see footprints. See those footprints? Yeah. Strange place for an evening walk. Unless you're looking for adventure. <laughs> like us. So yes, unless you're ostrich. So this could just have been Sheila. Let's be honest. My medallion. Uh, and already in this game, I already really respect the elves so much more. Well, at least I have a witch sword. Oh, bloody hell, they took their health down fast. Let's not use Quen right now, since it's a little bit of a, uh, hard. Right, come on, Triss. And I'm dead. Wow. I forgot how deadly this game is. Oh. I do like that picture, guys. Oh, oh back over here. Oh, bloody hell. Sheesh, Triss. Sure you're not overusing those teleports? Uh, how disappointing am I to Marcel? How disappointing am I to you in my lack of combat skills? Uh, what can I say? I'm used to using a lot safe weapon. Take care of yourself. I was about to say, it's like, ah, oh, I'm a witcher. Of course I can tear myself. Just like, nah, now nah, I can't. Quen should help. Yeah. So I'm, I admit, I'm not the greatest fan of Quen. I prefer something like, um... Oh. Yarden or Axie sometimes. But no, let's, get, let's give Quen a go. Alright. I'm not entirely sure why he went all the way over there, that bandit, but sure, we'll let him do his thing. Oh. Drag is too easy. What is drag in the sense? The D A R U U G. To be to be fair, I was supposed to be playing um, Star Trek Bridge Crew with a friend tonight, but he had to cancel, uh, which is a real shame because I was looking forward to some Star Trek. Star Trek. Come on. So you're not nearly as hard because you guys are not, I'm not actually all that scared. Oh, kill the one the game is slightly weird about it. Oh no. Run away. Ah, fair enough. Oh, get up. Here is that. Ah. 
So, what other games would be in, would you be potentially interested in seeing me play apart from, well, obviously more Witcher, which is going to happen. We'll work well into Witcher 3. It might take us several months, but we'll get to Witcher 3. But what other games, you know, would you be interested in seeing? Right, hey, Yishiris. Yeah, we're doing I this again. I wonder what's left of that wreck Cedric mentioned. If the Karen attacked the boat, it's not likely to be much. We're looking for traces of the beast, not boats. Alright. Throwing breaker? <laughs> yeah, potentially. Yeah, fair enough. Um, I certainly know that, uh, oh, what was it? Uh, Troy Total War, when they, uh, when that's released in a couple of days, I'll probably do a little stream of that at some point. Um, even though I know it's going to be a little bit disappointing. I'm a, I'm a massive Total War fan. I've loved all their games for absolute donkeys. And I'm a little bit, well, not entirely sure what the game's going to be like. In fact, actually, I've, actually, I'm really, I'm very tempted to do a bit of a, uh, a uh, dwarf playthrough on Total War, one of the Total War Warhammer games. Uh, what will be your take on a Warhammer Total War game? I'm really tempted. Actually, sod it, I'm going to do it. Oh, okay, okay, I've got five talents. I am spending some of these points. Cool. Uh, yes, that's, that's more vitality. It's quite a key one. Um, uh, throwing daggers, uh, less keen. And to be able to parry from all directions, I think that's quite a good one. Uh, so Vigor is, ah, uh, yeah. During combat, plus 10%. Yeah, that's definitely worth it. Um, to be fair, yeah, that and that. So very basic stuff. Uh, I was saying we can work on getting on some of the other ones in here and sword and shit, magic and all the rest of them in a bit. But uh, like, but these are such the basic you need in this game. Uh, right, if we also go, I'm also going to drink a potion. Sod it. It doesn't cost me much, so I'm going to drink me a swallow. So, so yeah, would you be interested in seeing any kind of like Total War games? Good. Uh, was that something you're not into? Oh, more magic as well. I can cast myself three spells. Back to the footprint. See those footprints? Yeah. Strange place for an evening walk. Unless you're looking for adventure. My medallion. Hello, drowners. I'm even still using the sword which the wonderful um, Lady the Lake gave me, which is still better than the other sword offerings the game so far. Uh, yeah, Medieval Total War, that's a good one. Uh, I, I'm a very big fan of the mods for Medieval Total War um, 2. We're talking about Medieval Total War 2. Um, it's got so many good mods. It's got a very good Lord of the Rings mod because Lord of the Rings. Yes, let's play the dwarves because that's the best nation. Everyone knows it. Anyone that says it's not, they're just lying to themselves. Well, that didn't last long. Let's do that again. Ah, see, if you're attacking on your own, I'm fine with that. I'll deal with you happily. I don't have a group attack in this game. Third Age? Yeah, no, no. Third Age Total War is amazing. What about uh, the sub mod, uh, Divide and Conquer? That is so good. Nice hard. to run into some old friends. No, it's not nice. No, it's not. Let's examine the trees. I am so fed up of drowners. And you know from my last game, I'm so I'm so fed up of killing drowners. I'll give you it's a very different challenge in this game. Uh, like, you know, before in the old game, like the idea of like getting attracted by like four or five drowners, it's just like, 
Meh. Don't care. But in this game, it's a challenge. A ram stuffed with sulfur and a dead cobbler. Straight out of Eastern legends. Not good enough for the Karen, though. I like the fact Triss is so in front of me. Also, I like the fact Triss now has a staff. And a cool staff at that. Yeah, yeah, but certainly I could do some third age sort of kind of things. Anything else, you know. Can't just be playing Witch all the time. Gotta make some variety of this stuff. Wait a minute. What are you going to do? Cast a simple diagnostic spell. It should answer a few questions. This monster is sick, Geralt. It's dying. How much time does it have left? A few years. Perhaps a decade and change. Too long. What's wrong with it? Any information could be useful. The diagnostic spell showed that some of the cells in its body have mutated. What makes you think it's dying? I mean, I'm a mutant. The mucus cells I diagnosed are very similar to cancer cells. In some ways, they're more effective than healthy cells, but they're out of control. They converge to create a red tissue. Very unpleasant. The poor thing. But you brought up an interesting point. Want to know the core difference between mutants and non-mutants? Yeah, sort it. Yeah. Of course I do. The changes made through alchemy and magic in your body would require thousands of years to develop on their own. This development would result from genetic errors that would cause your body to adapt, become a more efficient organism, effectively mutate, but over a very long time. When this development occurs over millennia, across multiple generations, we proudly call it natural selection, <laughs> evolution. When it occurs quickly, in a single organism, or a few representatives of a species, we frown on it as mutation. And here I thought you liked me. <laughs> what else? The Karen's highly venomous. Any ideas for an antidote? Your witcher's metabolism should neutralize small doses of the toxin. But if I were you, I wouldn't rely on my mutations alone. An Ostmark potion should do the trick. I know the herb, but haven't the faintest where I might find it around here. I need to think, figure out how I want to fight the Karen. Maybe I won't need the potion. Do what you will, but <laughs> don't say I didn't warn you. Sheila might be eager to get this done, but before you go see her, ask some of the locals about us. Yeah, Cedric. You could try Cedric. Here's the formula for the potion. I need to take care of some things. Manage without me for a while? <clears throat> see you. Citrus. And of course, use a fancy portal to go back. Right, I'm going to explore this wreck a little bit. Hey, what's, what's the viewing like on your end, uh, Marcel? Are you experiencing any um, kind of like lags or jumping at the camera? Because. So, I'm trying to work out well. Ooh, Captain Lucky. Nothing else. Yup. Another chest up here. Uh, find the chest used for by the Royal Mail. Ah, oh, the Royal Mail, of course, because we're in England and that's a proper place to be. Hmm. Yeah, that's it's an, it's an issue I'm trying to work out. Uh, for me, I I get no lag at all in any in any way, shape, or form. Um, it appears to be something about the encoding. Of the uh, of the uh, stream, I'm trying to work it out. You know, in in, in terms of actual specs, this this game goes nowhere near what it's. It, you know, my, my PC is more than able to play this game at ultra graphic setting, but it appears to be having an issue when doing the encoding. Might need to change the. Uh, I might have to actually uh, reduce the graphics setting and see how that works at some point. Alright, so I need to do that. Except we're probably not going to do the Osmo right now, purely because, well, 
we've done a bit of mainline questing. I want to go and sort out some of the goddamn good down of the good of the good townspeople of Flotsam. The forest near Flot forest near Flotsam isn't just Flotsam in a forest. Look at the damn thing. Look at the freaking heights of those trees. Bloody hell. Want you to see a beast today? I guess actually those are probably like as big as like those massive um, trees they get in Canada. But yeah, it's pretty damn big. Right. Well, since so we're here, yeah, we'll last. We'll, we'll last search for it, but we probably won't actually go questing for it quite yet. I'm saying I want to go and talk to the good um, town commandant or leader, whatever he's calling himself, Lorado. Cedric, I need some ostmerk. It's a rare variety of moss, grows underground. I know it. There are some caves to the south, deep in the woods. If ostmerk grows anywhere in the area, it will be there. Cheers, Cedric. Okay, cool. And I like the way you're now deciding to effectively moonwalk away from me a little bit, Cedric. Cheers, boy. <laughs> Let's now. This is going to be the standard. I'm going to walk into every house in Lost World. Everybody. Can you work for a Richard? Hello. Enough work for three, but what of it? We're poor folk. I'm sure we can work something out. You best go to Flotsam Town Square near the inn. There are notices on the board there. Just leave the troll be, please. No matter what the townsfolk say. Any other jobs? Well-paid jobs? <laughs> go seek the old man. Lorido splurged on a sorceress, so he's clearly got means in the budget. Uh, yeah, I know, about, I know about all so that. Long. Keep well. Okay, cool. Cheers. Let's uh, go inside your house. Standard amount of let's pillage the goddamn place. Oh, it's so nice to have a game, or in this game, where you don't have, you're not so limited on your capacity in. Uh, in your uh, inventory, I'll give you. You you are in the sense that you've got a weight limit, but uh, two swords. Does he lose them often? No, my dear. Uh, they're for different types of enemies. Well, they're both for monsters. Hint, hint. Um, hello. Who are you? Leave it. Hi. I'm good to go into your house instead. Let's go and nick all the stuff. Who are you? Oh, so this is Cedric's house. Oh, I see. Right. Sorry, Cedric. I won't bother you. Uh, who lives in this house? Well, neighbor. Off to work again. Greetings. Greetings. So if if the uh, if the actual lag properly comes a problem, Marcel, let me know and I'll, I'll put it knowingly. Because of the way this game works, I I can't edit the options for the uh, graphics in game. Um, so if I actually want to uh, change the graphics settings, I have to I have to full on go and restart the game. And saying, so let me know if it actually comes a proper problem, and I shall go and do said thing. But see this. If it's, if, it, if it's lag we can live with, then can we leave it. Um, can girls become witches too? I don't know. Marcel, you know a bit more about the general witches. Can witches become... Can girls even become witches? I've not specifically seen any uh, female uh, witches, but, uh, I mean, in the third game, of course, you have all that with... Uh, I've entirely forgotten her name. That's particularly bad of me. Oh, Siri. But I know she doesn't really get turned into the Witcher, but she kind of doesn't need to because she's of the elder blood. But, um, yeah. Ah, green people. Green people, but I can talk to them. That's good. Also, I want to be still. Uh, no. ah. Mother, I told you to leave me alone. The talking town is someone's murdering kings. Know any kings, mother? Well, neither do I. 
they started with kings, but they'll soon come for us. They better make it bloody fast, or I do the job for them. <laughs> oh, I love the banter in this game. Hello, can I talk to you? The game would suggest I can talk to you, but... Oh, my damn sacrum. Aching and thumping. Oh, my son. Yeah. You but, get home early but, does, but does that Eat actually... Something. But get does some sleep. But does that mean Stop she's actually a witcher because she hasn't gone the Pacific mutations? And she hasn't actually... Find a woman. Leave me alone, mother. Can't you see I'd work to or do? Don't, or don't you... Right, I'm going to give out the range of this because I can't remember You'll talking to you. and never return. Let's go over here for a second. Leave me all alone. Uh, so, like, do you actually need to go through the Pacific witcher training? Or is it just the case if you if you're physically strong enough to be able to take the potions and all the rest of it, that actually you could be called a witcher anyway. That's kind of interesting. Alright, oh, this looks like a little, uh... I don't know what you're talking about! So, so less a witcher and just more a professional monster hunter. Standard bullshit are you to get involved with because Geralt. What's going on here? This whore's a Scoyatel spy. Any evidence? What's it to you? Easy. She loiters around the garrison kicking us. Roderick says he bound her, but I don't believe that. I did. That's your evidence? Two of our lads are missing. Last seen with her. I only spoke to them. Then they went off towards the caves. That's all I know. The bitch is lying. She led them into an ambush. This ought to be easy enough to resolve. Look inside the caves. But they're crawling with all sorts of filth. Yeah, yeah. Good, but you'll pay me. Wait for me at the harbor. Well, chances are I need to go into those caves anyway. So it's just like, well, if I get paid to go into the caves, sod it. Sounds like a bonus to me. Hello, who are you? My medallion vibrates when you're nearby, and it only vibrates in your magic or danger. Maybe it's warning you not to make a pass at me, lest I slap you. Ooh, hoo, hoo. You're right. I should watch what I do. Listen carefully. People may say I'm a witch, but I don't deal in spells. You don't look like someone who'd come for a charm or a curse. So you either seek out sensations or hunt witches. Whichever the case. I'm not about to denounce you. Nor do I want to see you dancing naked. Yeah, she is. She is. She is bloody powerful. How dare you! I want to buy some herbs. Herbs. For personal use. She. She is. Siri is bloody powerful. Like ultra, ultra powerful. Uh, yeah. Let's just let's do the trade just to see what she's about. Uh, she's got some formula. Spectre Royal. Actually, Spectre Royal is probably going to be bloody useful at some point. Uh, 100 orans. Uh, do I have any on me? Because I know like, you can't start this with an amount of things. I wonder who's technically more powerful. Like, like I, know, I, know, I know they never did the comparison, but like Alvin versus uh, Siri. Like, who's more powerful? Because they're both available the blood, aren't they? Oh, I could get rid of some of these before. Uh, actually, I'll set, it, I'll set it off the hatchet. Don't care. And I'll set it off the pickaxe. Don't care. Um, oh, I do have some things. What do I want? No, I'm saying I'm checking if I have any spectre oil on me. I have four, so I don't need it now. But no, that's all right. I'll swipe up the formula. I think formula is very useful. Uh, wolf. Um, no side effects. That's quite a nice one. How much is that? Seventy-seven. Yeah. Tawny Owl, yes, I need bloody Tawny Owl, oh Christ, uh, that's 200, that's worth it. Um, what else can I do here, I don't really care about that right now. Um, if I can sell you, I can sell you a trophy. Uh, oh, I've got, I've got to read, right, let's uh, get out of this little menu for now. It's very quickly. Um, Please tell me these things. So, da, 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 report. Uh, sealed copy or personal diary of 
of Petra Cedula Sealer's captain, an extra copy of the personal diary, Petra gives an extra, blah, 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 deliver via the royal maid directly to his majesty from the Chancellor of the University of Oxenfurt. Captain's log, uh... Oh, of course, yeah, yeah, that's fair enough, yeah. I kind of feel like, uh, like... I was, I was talking. I was talking about this to someone else about the fact that the, that the professor in the first game is actually like almost a direct link to another character's in the book series called the Professor. But was like was like is there, is there like any base in the books for Alvin? Is it like a similarish character that was Alvin or a young boy of another name? Um, a lot. Especially for, to Lot B. Ween has proven successful. This we doubtless please both King Foltest. Uh, who is so generally reads back to expedition as well as University of Oswin seems exceptionally pleased. I had never seen before seen a sorcerer jumping for joy. Oswin tried to get the crew to mutiny, offering their valuables we had discovered in order to keep the artifact for himself. Fortunately, Foltis Marines remained loyal, passing Vergen. Oh, Vergen. I love Vergen. As the battle in which we saw Deridain. We had to flee, though, continually attacked by harpies, signed by Olwen's spell. Olwen's spell still has the power to trap monsters, even now, even though the sorceress now lies at the bottom of the river. The soldiers barely repel the monsters that harass us. Uh, I'm also finished with my report to Oxenfurt, which sums up the results for our research and marks the location of the Durban's resting place. We're almost home. I suppose I could forward this, but where the hell in Flotsam will I find a drop box for the Royal Post? Um, so what was that? Keep in mind there might be a f another thing up soon. Okay, cool. Is there any particular reason, mate, you're pointing a burn arrow at that hut? Right, so let me have a chat with her. Also, a couple of stuff around the back. Ooh, oh, of course, we just... oh, of course, I put the sword away, the guards will be annoyed by that. Scare off, sort of wait. Of course, she's a, a herbalist, so she would have lots of herbs around her heart, which is cool because we can pick them. Don't mind us. Right, I'm still talking to you as well. Right, come on. Uh, tell me about all what this do you know amulet. About protective amulets. I'm no sorceress. But I know a bit about magic. Why do you ask? Take a look at this one. I have reason to believe there's something not quite right about it. Hmm. I'd say there's magic in it without a doubt. And we knew that. I'd gladly buy it from you. Uh. No, I want to keep it for now. Why do you care about the amulet so much? I collect antiques. They may be useless to others, but I see value in them. I don't believe you. You want to buy a piece of metal just because it's old? I don't have to explain myself to you. No, you don't. <laughs> Can we try and deceive her? <laughs> uh, fuck I'm it. A witcher. You don't want to lose a customer like me. Is that so? Failed. Typical witcher. You're here, there, and everywhere. I won't get much trade out of you. If you say so. Mm-hmm. Fine. Uh, take her. I'm not going to sell it yet. I'm saying. Let's roll some dice. Because dice. I'm saying I enjoy this as a, I enjoy this as a side game. It's just something a bit different. Interrupts interrupts the game a little bit. A little bit of a just almost comical fun. A uh, pair of twos. I have three sixes. Boom and boom. Go. Yeah, fine. Up the bet. Opponent has resigned. Way. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for the gold. And thank you for the formula. Tawny Owl, especially. Ah, uh, sure. Very grateful about that. Right, can I... You're, you're outside again. No, you're someone different. Hello. Oh. Oh, uh, you're the, um... That's right. Try outside now. Oh, my son. You should get home early today. Eat something. Get him to... Why is he not cheerful? That he can do you? Alright. Oh, no. Didn't mean to do that. I don't know, I really do like your in, in this game particularly. He is a... He is a representable elf. He actually has some character to him. 
And like Yavin from the last game. <laughs> uh, can we speak to anyone on the dock? I was like, I might start from the other end of town, because that's where we came in. And work our way up. Mar always said, go ask the mason to take you as his apprentice. Hello, mate. Ever seen the river monster, the Karen? I have, but I'm not the talkative kind. Um. Speak up. Simple folk should work. Ah. There you go. Tentacles. Snatches men from boat decks and cattle off the shore. It's slimy like a snail, but fast as a thirsty vampire. Mm. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. I have a very particular hard choice in this game when it comes to Roach and uh, Yorvis because I like both of them quite a lot. Get onto this. It's down here. It's down your old mate. Only things I can nick from your deck. Greetings. Hello. No. I know when the inevitable decision becomes between Yorvith and Roach, it's going to be bloody hard to choose. Because, uh, I'm saying, I've played this game before and I'm very aware of, of what happens in Act 2. No, you're and, not enough. oh my god, I love both sides of it. Just, yeah, it's going to be hard to choose. Right, um, do, 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 do. I say, with all this stuff that we can pick up from here, we just won't do it yet because, well, infantry is fairly full. We'll do it later on. I think the stew's ready. Why, we met in Vizima, remember? I you stood at the gate to the outskirts. I don't stand. How are I? <laughs> A guard that remembers me. That's grand. That generally makes us oh, smile. Why the hell are we stacking and restacking this stuff? Is the port still blocked? Four. Odd Odrin? Just keep stacking. Orderly? No, no, I'm confused now. Not sure what that. Not sure you mean by that. That might, I might have missed something there. Oh, we'll get our prison ship. Oh. Welcome, welcome. See, I like, I like. Uh, see, I kind of, I like. So, so I'll pause to discuss this. So, I like, I like the fact that in the. Um, in the second bit of this, like I think overall, I'd say I prefer the second the second act. I prefer it actually on Yorvis side, because I generally prefer that dwarf hold. That is an amazing place, so well deal to have. Also, actual interaction with the with the non humans in a nice sense is so cool. Um, also, because Hensel's a bit of a bit of a bastard. Um, but Act Three, when you're in Lock Me In. Um, I want to support, I want to be fighting for Temeria. <laughs> I want to free Temeria. Uh, but it's like, but, the, but there is no, there is, I don't, I, you might be able to confirm for me, Marcel, but I don't believe there is a neutral path in this game, is there? It's, it is one or the other side, there's not a mutual path. Oh, there's someone over here, appears to be. And there is a green spot, I'm coming for you. Whitehead one. Hello. An offer for you. That sounds cool. Just what greetings, white-haired one. I could do with your help. You see, I'm looking for a certain formula. I'm no herbalist. I know who you are. Sorry, cracking knuckles. I'll be straight. Find the formula, and you'll earn a sizable pouch of orans. Okay, where might it be? Sounds good. What do you want me to do? It's really upsetting. It's the formula is in the hands of a certain shopkeeper. Can't go and see him yourself. He deals in incense. One type is particularly popular. I think what he sells is harmful, yet I need the formula to prove it. The scoundrel knows that and is very cautious. Yet I assume you, as a witcher, have your ways? I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Joy to side quest. At some point, I'll probably just, I'll, I'll say sort of the side quest and actually go to Laredo's, but not right now. Um, yeah, what what part do you prefer in this game? What what's like your favourite act, and whose side are you on in that act? Oh no, I'm not talking to a freak. Wait a minute, <laughs> Bastard. be off, or I'll call the guards. Bastard. That's all I have to say to you, mate. Oh no, I don't want to pick on that yet. 
Okay, you're just a trader. So you got. Oh, you've got a few runes, actually. I do want to. Ooh, actually, yes. I do want to upgrade my sword. What do I have, uh, rune wise? I have. Sun rune. I ideally want fire runes, don't I? Fire runes are the best. I have one fire rune. I would ideally like three to upgrade my sword. Uh, don't really want to spend huge amounts of money on it. Not yet, at least. Not got loads. Sun rune, maybe. I got a moon, but the moon's not particularly grand. Hmm. I do, I do find it using like the uh, the exchange rate here in the sense that the fire rune is uh, that would cost. Uh, it's cost. Uh, uh, yeah, I sell it to him for twenty one gold, but he's asking for three hundred gold for it. It's just a little bit silly. Yeah, we can come back to that. So. We've got. There's no slots on there, but there's quite a few slots. There's three slots in Radio Light, so we might do that at some point. Uh, where I was going about, right. Starting at this house, work our way around. Oh, you've already got quite used to this. Marcel of me just warning about the place. Picking up all the random shit I find. Take yourself, would you? I wouldn't mind a donut about now. <laughs> you wouldn't mind a donut about that. Do you not? I agree about that. In fact, actually, post this stream, I although it's although it will be quite late for me, but sorry, I'm very tempted to cook myself a little something because I'm hungry and I want sugar. Or I might just go for a cup of tea. Got a cup of tea. You like? Are you a fan of cup of tea, Marcel? Or are you a coffee man? I, I I know I, I'm British. I accept. I I we drink tea. You I accept that. Say, don't, 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 I'm a witch. When will they leave? Hi, yeah. Not soon. Oh, welcome. Hey, girls. Oh Christ, there really is a lot of girls in there. Cool blue meat, right? Oh, well, that's very nice. Christ, we're probably going to really yes. Might have to go back to the dwarf and sell us some of our stuff. Uh, Marcel, I was, I was going to ask. Uh, so, um, me and my mate are probably going to do a 20, 20, 20, 24 hour live stream at some point if that's something you're interested in. He's, um, I'm not sure what you're doing, mate. I just like your hat. I want your hat. Uh, what, what, what kind of games would you be interested in seeing in a 24 hour live stream, mate? Why do you look at me that way? I'm not, to be honest. I just walked into the house. I'm just nicking your stuff. Please, I apologise for nicking your stuff, but I'm Geralt of Rivia. Oh, there's a caddy in here somewhere. Cute little kitty. Alright, out of go. Alright, let's go to that blue dot. No, you're not. Is it you? Hello. Greetings. Greetings. I see even Flotsam has its ghetto. We're in Temeria, aren't we? Non-humans are to blame for everything. Cattle plague, higher taxes. Let them live, so long as it's far away and not for too long. It's hardly that ghetto, to be fair. Compared to the first game, this ain't that bad. Like, you're not living that much worse than anyone else here. Let's be honest, mate. Yeah, what's in here? Dust, very useful. I know, I know, like, like, it's almost, sort of, it's almost like a feature of these type of games where you go and steal, well, go and nickel those off of these houses. But for once, I want this to be like one house you walk into, you take one piece, and they go, Oi, you! And they come after you. That'd be grand. Utterly grand. Does he tend to And that's how I aim to keep it. Shame. Please think it over. The guild helps and protects. 
and accidents do happen. Fires are common enough in smithies, and a broken arm can make it very difficult to forge weapons. You threaten I, me. I yes, just, sir. I just want to tap so this guy in the back of the shop and just go. Back, <clears throat> or I'll thrash you so hard, even your plowing guild won't help you. Where are you going, Batsy, my friends? I might come bother you. Are you just going to stand there? Oh, <laughs> yes, we're going to look at your crotch in great. <laughs> so how? Uh, oh, I can't talk about it. That's a shame. Uh, let's just trade briefly, just because I want to see how much crap I've just picked up from all this. About talk about that. Right, you can have the pickaxe. And that, and that, and that. That freed up some space instantly. Uh, crafting. Oh, I picked up a load more cloth I didn't mean to pick up. Right. Sell that much. Uh, da, 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 da. More shit tons of leather I meant to pick. I picked up. Sell that much. I don't need much of this yet. Sell much. Sell some of the iron for now. I can always buy it back later. Uh, that's fine. I'm back back to two hundred space. That's fine for me. Uh, da, 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 da. Hello. Sorry. No, no, no. Geralt. Hmm. The gods have no love for your kind. Sorry. Didn't weren't you the guys that I'm just doing an experiment for? So don't be. Don't be bastards. So, do you, how do you think they could do a neutral path for this game, Marcel? How would you how do you envisage a neutral path for this campaign? So I think that's be I think that'd be kind of cool. I do I do always like the idea of a neutral path, especially it's being a Witcher. Greetings. What brings you here, White Wolf? Make yourself at home, please. Do we know each other? I've heard, or rather read much about you, in the letters of the Rivian Diaspora. Well, nice to meet you. <laughs> Einar Gausel, fundamentally a trader in old curios, although I also concern myself with the non-human community. I imagine you do. Um, oh, let's just my hair style. <laughs> Uh, I'd like to be, I'd like a squirrel's tail, da, 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 let out, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to do any of that, but, but, but that's, but that's quite funny. Mind uh, if I have a look at you? Take I, your time. I forgot, that's the thing. Uh, uh, non-human community. The non-humans in Flotsam are organised? We aren't, but we aid each other as best we can. I mainly collect taxes and announce the Commandant's dispositions. That'd make you a prime target for your business. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> You're correct on that account. But He's fair, warned I love... me many times, and I've explained the need for my function to him just as many. Both in vain. It seems we've agreed to disagree. Well, the sword is his calling, the pen is mine. Hence, no meeting of the minds. It wasn't always this hard. Turned sour when several elven lassies disappeared. We lost our trust in the humans, and the Scoia'tael ceased trusting us. Did they turn up, the women? No. I believe Necker's killed them. I remember Moral of the White Hands. She and her lover made a beautiful pair. Mm. Uh, yeah, I appreciate it. Like, Broach probably is, is the most quote-unquote neutral path. Um... Yeah. I also... I just love his blue stripes. I like this concept of a guy that's... I don't know. He's just trying to do it. And also the chat this guy's and he's just trying to walk into the back of me. <laughs> Books and Books and Flotsam? I wouldn't have thought it a profitable enterprise. Hey, many foreigners come through here. Sometimes they buy books, sometimes they have tomes to sell. Yesterday, for example, Lady Sheila de Tanceville purchased items for a sum equal to my yearly dealings. Did she buy anything interesting? De Vermis Mysteries. The Exeter Treaties. Complete and unabridged, plus a very expensive volume I'd rather not mention. That's I should enough. add, 
as generosity must be praised, that she made a donation to the community, specifically to the Fund for Widows and Orphans. Very nice of her. Right, let's trade briefly. Let's see what books you have for me. Um, <laughs> oh, I like the fact that I think it's that book, considering that's how they start this bloody game. Uh, ooh, Neckers. Yes, we need to add Neckers. It's only 32, so I shall have that. Uh, right, Smelida. Yeah, that's for one Orin, so I'll have that. Art of Magic, 64. Hmm, maybe. Okay, let's go to the top. Start at the top. Blah, 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 blah. Right, Drowners. Uh, textbooks for initiates in the Order of the Flaming Rose. <laughs> oh, Order of the Flaming Rose. Love it. Crown Triple. The Horrors of Rothfield. Cairn. Uh, well, that's a bit more expensive. The Realms of the Nordlings. Uh, the Temerian Royal Dynasty, Temerian Special Forces, the Valley of the Flowers, uh, Three Years Among Endurers, uh, Wraiths of Interimplings. Right, I know we're going to need that, so hopefully that's going to give us permission on that. I want the Royal Dynasty one, so I'm just interested, actually. That would be useful. Um, it's about Cairn, but it's 200 gold. Ah, sod it. It'll be worth it in the long run. And rock finds something else against something else we're gonna run against up against. It's always worth purchasing these books. Uh drowners as well, sort of. It's not too late to repent. Look, can you shut up, mate? Mind if I have a look at you? And also, let's now roll some dice. I wanna play dice. Prove you're good enough. <laughs> then who knows? I'll be back. Wow, you're a little bit of a Right, these books that are costing us no weight, so I have no issue about having them. All right, about dragons, we've read the ones about dragons, we've read the restaurants, we don't have that, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Fuel Society and its enemies. Is that anything? I think we read that. Uh, uh, ooh, dwarves, yes, dwarves. Sorry, you might have to, I am a massive fan of dwarves. Whenever I have an option in the game, I play the dwarven factions. I am a massive fan of dwarves because dwarves are the best. People need to understand it and accept it. <laughs> Dwarves are one of the elder races. Stocked and beardy, with strong built bodies and low voices. They are distinguished uh, for, for their height, which is lower than humans. Of simple and direct manner, they are sometimes sim seen as grumpy, unkind and greedy. I have to stress that my, that my own opinion of the dwarves is by no means similar uh, to the latter part. I only cite it here, present to the views of other people, even in, if they are dull-minded, hate-blinded buffoons. Mahaken is... buffoons. Uh, Mahaken uh, is the Dwarves Mountains homeland, farmed for its numerous mines, where precious stones and ores are mined. Many Dwarves also live in human cities, for that race usually adapts to its new names easily, sometimes cannot be. Unfortunately, uh, said about said about large parts of humanity, despite effects... Uh, variations, persuasions, and even bloody, bloody pogroms. The curse of Azores goes a lot better than just with elves. Their flair for trade and craft makes them excellent merchants, banks, and smith and aras. That is very true. The the dwarves are a lot easier about the competition because, like I don't know, it's the, 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 they don't mind the whole building side of it. And like I said, the banks, smithing, and yeah, they're very good about that side of it. Uh. <laughs> Neck is in the mist. Imagine a drowner that buries tunnels, climbs trees. It's more vicious than usual, and, and when ambushing it prey, it does so with many of its own kin. Now you have a good idea of what a necker is. These primitive creatures are the bane of the wilderness. The inhabitants of forest, village, forest villages fear them. The animals give their nest a wide berth. Necks are social creatures gathering in akin, something akin to tribes. They can only repel the attack strong for stronger assailants on mass. Witches can use full range of skills and techniques when fighting neckers. Signs, bombs, potions, and oils augment the bleed. Uh, uh, the organ bleeding, extremely effective against the Neckers. Neckers' nests are best destroyed with grape shot bombs. Cool. That's particularly good because now we know how to kill the bastards. Ooh, right, it's matter. Ooh, I'm not going to try and say that first word. Uh, melody, uh, or midsummer, is the summer solstice marks the beginning of the fourth. First month of summer in the elf summer, in the elven solar calendar. Elves believe that all things under the sun occur in cycles. Hard to admit that the days grow shorter. Blah, 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 blah. Hmm. Okay. Uh, three years among and en delegates. I'm probably gonna say that wrong. Uh, are forest creatures that resemble arachnids. They are especially fond of floodplains as 
Moisture and tall grass suit them. The longer they're tall, they move all about on all fours. Extremely difficult to spot as they lie motionless, waiting their prey. Like Kikamores, Endrithers are divided into cars, with warriors being the most numerous, guards being less common, and queens being a real rarity. These monsters, like Aquanids, hatch from eggs. Impregnated queens have their eggs in cocoons, which hang from trees in areas known as nests. The lesser creatures, as Ursi, guard the queens as colonies depend on their survival. The queens themselves remain hidden, caring little for what happens to the other adult species. However, when they're Nest is threatened, they emerge swiftly and fight ferociously. Thus, to exterminate an engine of collate, one must first set fire to cocoons, draw out and kill the queen. So, hmm. so actually, so I, I meant, meant to ask myself, like, what is your opinion of like the uh, second of the uh, Verdon hold you get in the uh, for Yorvis path in the second act? It, I think it's glorious. But you know, what do you think of like actually being in the a dwarven city compared to the first game when it is very much more well human based? Ah, now this is interesting. Saying who was actually the king before Foltest? King Foltest's daughter, cursed into the womb, entered the world of stillborn beast. In in turn, she continued to grow. I don't know about it until Grant freed up dark spell. Years later, Adam wants to come to the curse, which again uh, faces trigger. This time, however, the political player played the order of Faith rose for reservation. Bits cross me, and it was really the king Foltest. Blah blah blah. We know that bit. Uh, it's also quite cool to know that we already, when we spoke to Falsest earlier, he mentioned about Ada and Radovid, so that's still all, all going, which is really cool. The Kairan stands apart among most creatures, large as well, beautiful and horrible. It is unique, unlike any other being, doubtless. It is post conjuring creature, appeared out of reality in time. When the world intermingled, it has made its home in the waters of the Ponto, where it is this day. Over the ages, the Chronicles mention several instances of the Cairn appearing on the river, so in various places, there is no certainty if it if these mentions apply to one or the same creature. Slowly moving up or down river, or the original creature prodigy seem here or there. Uh so I don't really want to read these right now. Groups another time. But we got the moving page minute. Now are you gonna to talk to me in a nice fashion? No, you just get bastards. Fine. That's your own fault, mate. Cool. Oh, it's around here. What is it? Here. Can we go in here? Nope. In here? Nope. In oh, I think here. In here. Everything alright at the house here. Oh. Bah! Why the hell is this person sort of Saying silly things. I'm a witcher! Ha ya! Mummy! Upstairs. Out of the way. Oh, you can get pissy if I start stealing your shit. Also, I think I'm just going to talk to you. Hello. What do you do? I'm the royal castellan. I look after Flotsam's provisions, fortifications, and so forth. So if I exterminate a monster, I need to see you about the reward? Indeed. You could start by filling in Form H12 oh, no. and taking it no. to... No. No. I don't need to. I've got immunity. Ah. Well, you'll find the notice board out in front of the inn. And good hunting to you. Oh, it will be good hunting. On your desk. Is that a drop box for the Royal Post? Yes. I am the local Royal Postmaster. One of my many responsibilities. Any idea why Lerido put a price on the troll's head? Commandant Lerido has Flotsam's welfare in mind. Mm hmm. But the troll tends to the bridge, keeps it in repair. Not likely. To start with, that's a dangerous beast. In addition, he pays no taxes on the tolls he collects. <laughs> ah, my idol's coming! Christ, what the hell are you talking about? Right, I think we had we had the um Ancient Proto da, 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 da. Yeah yeah. Uh let me see cracking. Drop the report into the postbot raw mate, review any other correspondence you find. Can I just search it? Contents lock, god damn it. Okay. No one else is looking. Is that a post spot? Yes. Okay, what do you think? What's our chances here? Marcel, let's take a look. Would you mind if I looked inside? Come on, Geralt. 
Fail success. Absolutely success. no problem. Enjoy your reading. So long. Cheers, mate. Oh, my sales report. Cool, I'll take that. And I will also drop off my letter. Did I even drop off that letter? Oh, yeah, I did. Cool. Uh, Louise report. In answer to your inquiry regarding a long a local brand producing fish tech, I haven't. I hasten to inform you that we have not recorded any activity that's currently in Flotsam, excluding Tavern Brawl. The town is mercifully free of vice. In fact, we owe that to the incredible efforts of no Rido. Rumours of uh, Brigand Dimitri uh, are likewise false. The rogue in question we executed for his crimes, of which I praise and report. Commander Rido urged me to convey the advice to you to replace the informer as president one apparently fabricated information. Put simply, he lies like a dog. Uh, thus, tarnishing the good name of the intelligence services, the commander also wonders when we will know the next screen will regard a flock of flying pigs over Flotsam or elves approaching the garrison walls. Gentlemen, please, may the gods preserve Temeria. Cool. Right, I'm now going to ever slightly nick all the stuff in your house. Excuse me, briefly. And then I can go sell it to the dwarves, so they have stuff, because the dwarves are awesome. Is that another box I can nick stuff from, mate? Can I? Cheers. Thank you. Oh, right, I'm about timing a lot of stuff in my inventory. Yes, I am. Cool. Let's go sell, like, a, a spade. <laughs> I like the idea of like, doing like, a close up again for a fight and throwing a short a spade. <laughs> uh, let's trade, mate. Uh, you can take the dwarven axe, I'm saying, Geralt's there, and the hammer. And that, and that, and that, and that. What else we now fill up our inventory with? Good God, we're at 40 again. Let's uh, try and get that down a little bit. Uh, bindings, they're not particularly useful and they cost me. You know. Candlesticks, chains, uh, yeah, silver medallion, yeah, 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 it's all junk. All junk. Um, anything else which I've got a stupid amount of which I can sell off? It's arranged by weight. Now let's just do everything. Nothing's causing a silly amount. Okay, okay. I think it'll be fine. We've got plenty of capacity. Uh, right. It's true. Fantastic okay. dead and troubling. Right, okay, I'm thinking I'm gonna go and go to the Rito's. How's that sound? Done all these houses and I'm saying I wanna get a bit more a bit the questing and the fun bit selection. I think he said the evening, didn't he? So let's let's just go here a moment. Let's go for a meditate, you know, just in the middle of anywhere. And we'll meditate until just a bit past. Lorido wanted to see me. Commandant's busy. Come back after dusk. It is after dusk. God damn it. Alright, let's do it properly. Uh, meditate, let's go to midnight. What? The Commandant wanted to see me. Leave your weapon here. Guard it with care. It's very valuable. Yeah. Wait, Wolf. I'm not sure. I need to talk to the Commandant too. I'm not sure I'd let you him You're going inside or not? Listen, friend. I'm an officer and you're a runt. And when I say jump, you will not only... Come on, Roach. <laughs> oh, I love Roach. I love Roach so much. With these cunts, Laredo can protect the port from a drunk lumberjack. Let alone Yorveth. He succeeded so far, Roach. 
The port is rotting away, and this prick throws fireside feasts. A ballista! The bastard's got a ballista. You know the power of this weapon. Mm. Its arms strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away. Yeah, an experienced crew can release two bolts each minute, but it can't hit the same spot twice because it recoils and shifts. I've heard that somewhere before. Where did you learn about Ballista? I knew someone who knew a bit about them. Oh, Fault Test! Fault Test, we need I to miss damage it if We don't want to be at Laredo's I mercy. love Fault Test. They're all drunk here now. I'll provoke the guard. Relax, Roach. I don't want to fight this rabble again. As long as that weapon's operational, no one will sail this section of the Pontar without Laredo's express permission. I'll handle this. Go have a drink. Okay. I guess I just can't walk up to it. Anyway. Don't you traipse around here, comrade. Nothing better. Don't than you traipse around face. here. <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious amounts of liquor. <laughs> Add plow into the mix and it doesn't get any better. Luckily, the commandant's provided it all. True. <laughs> Come here, lass. Your uncle's got a story for you. So long as he can afford to tell it. I'll not lend an ear for less than ten orans. <laughs> I do look fairly pissed. Oh, you're not particularly well, are you, mate? Yeah, right. You are such a good soldier. I don't like strangers. Nothing better than a fireside feast. Right, you are such a strangers. Except a fireside feast with coconuts and strutting, clicking, 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 clicking. <laughs> you. Into the what do you need, ugly? Christ. Ugly. Well, you ain't exactly handsome. But? I wouldn't worry. Women prefer ugly men to groomed dandies. Dandies. And you're ugly something mighty. Ah, uh, dandies. Care for a romp? Care for Can't a just now, romp. But I'll find you later in town. What's your name? Margarita. Margarita. I do like a Margarita. <laughs> I wanted to surprise my friend, the sad looking guy by the ballista. Some idiot wanted me to read him poems recently. Extravagance, as I say it, I didn't <laughs> like it. I was thinking of something a little more traditional. What would you have me do? Your specialty. Just go with your specialty. All right. It'll be my standard rate. Draw him away from the ballista while you're at it. Slap me hard and call me stupid. Trying to put one by me? That'll cost you more. How's that? Surcharge on special requests. Those are the rules. Let me think it over. Any other way I can do it? for a favor? There is one thing you could do for me. And that is? Myron and Alphonse. Two of Laredo's thugs. Give him a good thrashing. And I'll even blow... I stirred up enough trouble as it is during the execution. No need to stir trouble. Just humiliate them some ways. Consider it done. Luckily, the Commandant's provided it all. True. Did you hear? I don't like freaks. Oh, God. And I don't like oafish no-necks. No-necks. What do you want, mutant? To try my luck. Arm wrestling. I'm gonna crush you, mutant. Save the boasting till later. Let's do this. Let's do this thing, guys. So long as he can afford to tell it. I'll not lend an ear <laughs> oh, for less than I admit, I'm not very good at this in this game. No, 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 no. Too fast, too fast, too fast. Oh. Nothing better than a fireside feast. <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious amounts of liquor. <laughs> Nope, 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 too fast. Better. I'm gonna the fail this. Provided it all. True. <laughs> Come here, lass. Your uncle's got a oh, I'm gonna fail this. So long oh. as you can to tell it. I'll not lend an ear. You're weak! A lame mutant! Dead. Another shot. Not strength enough for another all oh, one. <laughs> Especially if you're just gonna keep doing me until I win. This is great, I'll just do it this way. Nothing better than a fireside feast. <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious amounts of liquor. <laughs> Add flour into the mix and it doesn't get any better. Yeah, yeah, except I'm going to be honest, it's not a fireside feast unless there's a good amount of alcohol. I hate mutants like you. I know, <laughs> I know. So long as he can afford to tell it. I'll not lend an ear for less than ten orans. Who's a white-haired filly? Oh? Sorry. Um. What you want? 
Old man. Old man. See, fair, he is old. Get I was old. looking to test my strength. Arm wrestling. What do I stand to gain? Nothing, because I'll thrash you. Wait. And if I win, you'll have beat a witcher. So I guess that gets you bragging rights. Are you that good, old fella? The Grey Wolf. Grey. Mm. All right. Let's begin. Nothing better than a fireside feast. <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious amounts of liquor. <laughs> Add plowing to the mix and it doesn't get any better. Luckily, the Commandant's provided Is there it anything all. better? I'll give True. you that. Come here, lass. I'm, saying, I'm still not convinced it's a proper fireside feast that there isn't liquor involved. As long as he can afford to tell her. I'll not lend an ear for less than ten orans. Oh, I've got to lose this one. God damn it. Nothing better than a fight. Hey! You're alive! <laughs> what you want? Right, come on, one more time. I was. Let's do this. <laughs> Add plowing to the mix and it doesn't get any better. Luckily, the Commandant's provided it all. True. <laughs> come here, lass. Your uncle's got a story for you. So long as he can afford to tell it. I'll not lend an ear for less than ten hours. Boom. Hell yeah. Damn the dogs! The old man got me! I need to eat. Build up a bit. <laughs> Haven't had this good a time in ages. That's uh, true. Back you know to this the one. letter. Mm -hmm. Myron and Alphonse. Teach them a lesson yet? Of course. All right. I'm off to give the boy some diversion. All I'm gonna, all I'm gonna. Pramel, Pramel. Along came a dwarf there, kicked him in the arse. Pramel, Pramel. Oh, you arse, fat, dirty, rotten scum. Pramel, Pramel. Do that again, and I'll Here fuck you, ma'am. Pramel, there, I'm on duty. You've had oh, your song. On. Care You're for some comrade. real dad. Well having version. their fun. Why should you be any worse? You're right. Let's go. But hey, getting lucky there, man. Good on ya. Nothing better than a fireside feast. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Except oh. a fireside feast with copious amounts of liquor. <laughs> Just steals some of the into the mix and it doesn't get any better. <sighs> Luckily, the commandant's provided it all. True. <laughs> Come here, lass. Oh, Christ, Your uncle's got a story for you. So long as he can afford to tell it. I'll not lend an ear the for list less is than decommissioned. ten orans. Perfect. <laughs> Let's go see Lurido. Indeed. Lurido's busy with that witch Sheila. Come back later. Geralt, let's wait downstairs in the yard. Yes. Do we wait until the honorable lady is done with the venerable hick? Ah. The time? Looks like a good number of Flotsam's town watchmen are here. We should look around. Did you see that arbalist behind the house? I'll get his attention. Give him something to think about. Why don't you find out what they're guarding so closely? My apologies, gentlemen. I could not help overhearing your conversation. What do you want? In point of fact, it's a matter for the Witcher. I have an offer. Indeed. An offer? Interesting. I suspect you did not come to Flotsam for pleasure alone. You suspect right. <laughs> Do you know about the for monster pleasure, in the river? We didn't come here at all for that. Might have heard something. I expect someone will hire you to deal with it sooner or later. Thus, I presume that... Stop presuming, expecting, and concluding. <laughs> just <laughs> just, get, me just get to the fucking point. Our honored host is in possession of part of a trap built especially for the beast in question. Go on. Around back, there's a storage area where Lurido keeps the treasures he confiscates from merchants and travelers. There are heaps of things out there. Let me guess. You know exactly where I need to look. Precisely. I saw Lurido's men carrying the contraption across the garden in a crate. They placed it on a platform by the wall, beyond which lies the craftsman's district. Why are you telling me? Why? We need to be rid of the beast as soon as possible. Good luck. All right. I'll distract the guard. You sneak behind the house. Brilliant as ever. Haven't <laughs> had this good a time in ages. 
That's true. Do a save for this happens. Let's be honest. You know this one. Well. A little elf was skipping down the path. Soldier, report plow to me immediately. Plow them all. Along came a dwarf bag, kicked him in the ass. Plow them all, plow them all. Oh, you ass fat, dirty rotten scum. Plow them all. What do you want? All. Shut it, soldier. Have respect for your superiors or spend the rest of your life on the king's gallery. Flotsam, we cut the hands oh, of thieves. No, I'm redoing that. That's unfair. That is so unfair. They say Soldier, witches have to me no immediately. need to plow. Oh, one more go. Come on, guys. We need to get this done. That? Nothing better than a fireside feast. <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious What do you want? Shut it, soldier. Have respect for your superiors or spend the rest. I was expecting Roach to go back to the I'm an officer and you're a runt. If I say jump, you Yeah, insert Roach's standard speech. Right, so was it you that saw me somehow? I don't know. Just hide over here again, just in case. Ooh. Yeah, this game's slightly awkward where you can hide. It's definitely not exactly built for it. Right, I'm gonna knock this guy out. Oh shit. In flotsam. No, okay, one last go. One last go, guys. Come on. That is just the game being silly. I pressed the button, goddammit. I promise. <laughs> Soldier, report to me immediately. I don't know, I would love to see this what idea of Roach ripping into soldier. them. Yeah. Have respect for your superiors or spend basic. the rest of your life on the king's galley. The, the, idea, the idea of like a basic soldier versus Roach, where Roach just absolutely shreds them. Right, let's just uh, oh. knock them out. Aha, now we get up safely. Cool. Do you know we're going to get this trapped a little bit? Suspect. Right, there's a guard over there. Find the trap. What's going on here? Oh, there's a window, so can we like spy on their meeting? That would be cool. Say, I want to know where that guard is. No, no, Garrett, get away from the wall. No offense, mate, but you're not. I don't that much anyway. I was like, there's a guard I heard. There he is. Is that the only guard? It's the only guard I can see. Ideally, want to knock him out. But I mean, is it a case that if I knock him out, they know someone's been back here? Okay, there's a second one, but he's not anywhere close to me. Right, I'm going to, I'm going to knock this guy out. Just wait for the right opportunity. No, 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 no. That was close. Right, okay. I know it's knocking him out. When he comes back over here and he turns around. Because there's no way I think I can get up there without him seeing me. So I think I have got, kind of gotten to knock him out. Okay, it's going over here. We're back in the prison, guys. We're sneaky, sneaky, peaky boys. Just around. Knock him out. Right, and actually, I'm tempted to knock this guy out because I say I can't see anyone over there, so I'm going to knock this guy out first. He's only got nothing else to worry about. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Once he's knocked out, like I said, there's nothing else for me to worry about. Okay, so you're just walking back. So, so far, you're just doing a duh, duh. Do you do anything more than that? 
No, you don't appear to. You just walk back and forth. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I reckon I can risk this bit then. Risk it for a biscuit. Let's go up here. Yeah, there's no way I could get up here in this time and just go, oh, you didn't see me. Hide against the wall, Geralt. And... You forget who you're dealing with, Commandant. You must think me an idiot. I cannot help myself. You take guardsmen off the streets to guard carpets, fabrics, and spices pilfered from merchants. It's Do money. you have any grasp of the responsibility that rests Business. with you? Don't teach an old man to piss, sorceress. I've ruled Flotsam for years. Flotsam is ruled by a fear of your death. That fear rules even you. I've made my demands perfectly clear. Like a crying babe deprived of its racket. <laughs> In time, Commandant, they'll hang you by the neck from a roadside tree like a regular bandit. And rightly so, for you're no better. Your time will come too, sorceress. They'll no pile better. kindling at your feet. Enough. Fear has confused you. Think over what I said and give your answer before it's too late. Interesting. So there's something going on with that lot, which is disconcerting, leaving that. To be fair, I guess we could guess with the guys that knocked out they got drunk on duty. Like, let's be honest, who are they actually going to listen to? Uh, right, no. Is that stuff I can, is that stuff I can nick? It's it loads I can nick. No, you are, but there was a guard there. Risk it for a biscuit. Okay. Okay, can't see us over there. I'm not going to risk it any much further. I'm going to pick up that wood. It's fairly easy to come hard. Funny enough. It is very easy to come hard. Right, what way do you look? You look that way, and then you walk this direction. Right, I'm going to risk it, risk it, risk it, risk it, risk it, risk it, risk it! Oh, oh, oh that was close. <sighs> Chest. Steal stuff from chest. Cool. Now, let's, let's hop over the wall. It's down here. Descend. No, it's locked. Okay, so in theory, there might be a secret way into this place. That's interesting. Alright. Ah, there we are. So have we got the thing we came for? I guess so, well, I guess. If we have, it will be in what, like quest items? Yeah, iron frame. No, is that it? Uh, yeah, iron frame. Right there. Okay, cool. And uh, we're not at any weight on that yet. Cool. So let's go up, up here, apparently. That's where we're going. Ah, uh, we drop back down. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm with you. And no one's any the wiser. Didn't like him from the start. Laredo's storing valuable gifts from the merchants right here. He may be expecting Yorvith to attack. Or it's his way of keeping them here because I guess, because I, because like I guess, like if you've got the merchant's stuff, they have to, I don't know, pay your. I overheard the commandant talking to Sheila. I couldn't pinpoint the topic of their conversation, but it seems to me he's angling for something. We'll see what he has to say. Indeed. I did not mean to shove you out of the way. <laughs> go in. They await you. Where are we to go? I'd hardly call this a hut. You, I mean you, sir, cannot enter. We've been ordered to let in the Witcher, but no one else. Son of a bitch. Fine. He wants to play hard, we'll play hard. I don't want any trouble. I'll call for support. No need. Tell Laredo I got the message. See you, Roach. Oh, I quite like Roach. Okay, I guess we can't go that way. Okay. It's a little bit telling of what direction we're going then, isn't it? This direction. And... Here to see the Commandant. We have business to discuss. Good luck. He's in a foul mood. Why? We'll talk another time, and definitely elsewhere. Okay, I'll definitely come find you then. 
Um, oh, there's an upstairs. Upstairs. Oh no, guarded. Entry only on the Commandant's express orders. Off you go. Finally! They didn't ah, want to shit. let me in while the sorceress was here. Did you see her? Made up like a whore on parade day. They think they can do anything, those sorceresses. I heard what happened in Tamaria. Oh, pretty freaking powerful. You know your name's on a warrant. It's unfortunate. Though nothing that should impede our dealings. See, I'm the law round here. And the law needs to know what the legendary White Wolf's doing in this cesspit. Ah, uh, I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing, but you, but uh, that's my business. That's no concern of yours. Listen, Witcher, here in Flotsam, everything's my ploughing concern. Let me help you, Geralt. Mm. To be fair, he might, and also, to be fair, actually, if he, if we can convince him it wasn't us... Considering we are here with, you know, a fairly high-ranking officer of the Tamerian Special Forces. Uh, like, yeah, we can convince him that we're not the actual king's heir. We're looking for him. That'll go in our favour so much. I'm looking for the man responsible for Foltest's death. Here? I know the Scoyatel had a hand in it, too. It's their trail I followed to Flotsam. Lucky you found Bernard Laredo, then. If you're telling the truth, your vet's got raw blood on his hands. I can help you find him. Why don't you trust Roach? What about Vernon Roach? Why didn't you let him in? Roach? Know the aura that surrounds him? Men like him act first and think later. And when they act, almost inevitably innocent blood flows. I mm. trust you're on our side. Whose side is that? That of the people of Flotsam, of course. Terrorized by the elven bandits for years now. There was a time those forests belonged to the elves. Yeah. To them, humans are bandits. Spare me your sympathy. The elder races, the elder language, plow it all! Today they torch human settlements, they poison our wells, and they murder us along the highways. Yeah, not all of you them fail do. to understand. Not all of them do. It's you who doesn't understand. Don't, uh, don't to make tell it you the about truth, elves. I'm make not it human. about... You an elf? A dwarf? No, I'm talking bollocks. I piss on the fact that they call you freak for your... White hair and glowing eyes. You're a human like any other. We're fighting a war. And you, my friend, cannot straddle the fence. Yeah. What about the elves? Yeah, what about the non humans here? The smiths, peddlers, and hunters? They eat with you, sleep among you. Whose side are they on? Hell if I know. That's my point, Witcher. When you fight for survival, you need to be sure who your friends are. The non humans in Flotsam, sure. They eat, fuck, shit among us. But when your vet sounds the battle horns, who knows what they'll do. Treat them better, and they'll and they'll show you loyalty. That's very true. I'm surprised they haven't turned on you already. How so? The town guards treat non-humans like shit. Frankly, I don't know what keeps them here. I'll tell you what, Geralt. The hunger they'd face in the forest. But I grant you, those acts of... Uh, Insubordination need to be stopped. Soldiers are simple men. When you see your mate die, a scoyatel arrow in his throat, it's hard to look favorably at the elf who sells your wife colored kerchiefs. You're a witcher. Your job is to protect the simpletons from monsters. I protect them from the danger that lurks amongst the trees. I see where this is going. Yorvik's no better than a monster that attacks those who go out to gather kindling. Matter of fact, he's worse. He's smarter and crueler. Smarter and crueler. I don't want you to kill him. Even you don't have a hope against his entire force. I have an idea, but I'd rather not go into it now. The squirrels are up to something. Every night their scouts come closer. I suspect they plan to attack the barge moored in the port. What's on the barge? You mean who? Bandits, murderers, rapists. On their way to the dungeons at Drakenborg. As soon as their infamous leader joins them, the cherry on the cake and Bernard Laredo's crown trophy. Couldn't have put it better myself. As long as your vet remains free, humans, elves, and dwarves will live alongside yeah, each other in deep distrust. Yeah. I've got to learn what the pointy-eared rat is planning. How am I supposed to get that information? <laughs> you underestimate me, Witcher. True, I have my prejudices, but I'm not blinded by them. Really? Take your friend Zoltan, for instance. He contacted Yorveth, 
How can Zoltan help if he can't go outside the walls? <laughs> step by step, Geralt. That's how you build trust. You could start by tending to a problem we have. A beast. The Kairan has blocked all boat I'm traffic. Aware of this. I'm losing tolls. That is, um, the trading post is losing revenue. Kill the Kairan and I'll declare your friends acquitted of their crimes. Then Zoltan can take you to see Yorve. I'll see what I can do. I'm I like I'm not I'm not saying yes. I'm just saying well, let's be honest. We're killing the Kairan anyway because well we're a monster hunter and money, but I'm still not convinced that you're sent the wrong here. I want to see your this because hey, I'm not I, I don't honestly I'm not too fussed about your this. I want the king's let. I'll talk to Zoltan. I trust you'll make the right decision. Farewell. Yes, uh, farewell. L now let me just nick some stuff uh, very quickly. Um, that's another letter. Of my mother once more. The hag has made uh, has been mad since I can remember. I'll always wonder how she managed to acquire enough wealth to buy those, buy the house and guarantee my office in flops. And I hope her highness the machine is not to discuss by excellency. It's a solemn affair. Blah the bread, the red hot circuits just foolish jest. Furthermore, I confirm that my position in the office. Blah 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 blah. blah. Begging for mercy from the local, from from his higher ups. Sorry, just 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 nicking a few things. Also, who are you? Any news from? Um. Yeah, how long? I guess you're finding it hard to get rid of Yorvith. He's stubborn, it's true, but he's met his match, and I'm not about to leave Flotsam to the same fate as the other towns and villages the Scoyatella burnt to the ground. The citizens of Flotsam owe the elves nothing. They've built their homes and workshops with their own hands in the wilderness, not on the ruins of an elven town. That's if very need true. be, we'll remind the long ears where they belong. I bet you will. Some garrison. You've got a heap of soldiers for such a small trading post. Bandits swarm to trading routes like flies to shit. Only troops can guarantee some order here. We're the last Temerian outpost in this area, and we'll not give in to a bunch of elves. No, that's fair enough. I... I understand his issues here. I think they're certainly not all your this fault. Some of them just perhaps as well where the training post is actually goddamn positioned to accept. This good a time in ages. Leave Lord as a state. Right. You know this one. A little apple skipping down the path. Ugh, Bram, that's, Bram, that's, Bram, that's just a bad Bram, song, mate. I know a few drinking songs. None of them quite that bad. Jesus. Don't forget your blade. Oh, I won't. won't. Uh, what were we doing? We were using Aerolite and sword. Cool. And we did some quests. Cool. Got a few things to investigate, more people to go talk to, etc, etc, etc. Thank you very much for stopping by this evening. This has been a wonderful stream to do. I love this game. I'll continue to play it. And I'll see you guys on my next stream. Till then.